do 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 Joe is Joe's so fucked off from oh now I can't put this on YouTube without cutting that god damn from the game he would rather watch Jads argue about cheese again. What would what do you guys what what's the cheese argument? That cheese is good or bad or or what? Is this the right game? It's the right game, okay. Well it's not, but you know what I mean. Cheese is treat is cheese greater middling cheddar. If I'm to choose between one cheese and another, I'd rather not cheese at all. Uh, why can't I hear anything? Oh, now I can. Okay. Sorry, I was about to start and then I realized I hadn't uninstalled before the storm and I, I had to do that like like immediately after I noticed. Wait, did I put that in the right one? I did, okay, good, 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 good. Good. Oh, I didn't answer my emails! God damn it! Oh man, there's a really important email I have to answer. Oh shit. I knew I had to do something before we started. God damn it. Alright. Well Streets ahead. Alright. Oh email stream it is. Yeah, maybe. Work live on stream? No. Streaming is work. Let's get some kappas in the chat for that. Do you know how many people think that streaming isn't work? Lol, this game again? Yeah, like we're gonna finish it. Try playing Neo 2 instead. I've played some Neo 2, it's pretty good. I didn't do hurdle today. Should we do some hurdle? Hurdle 90s. Let's see. Am I allowed to do that on stream? Okay, what's this gonna be? Well, I didn't hear it. I don't know that song. Diana King, Shy Guy. No, I don't know that one. Alright. Hurdles 2000s. Okay, I don't know that one yet. Let's keep going. Oh, I feel like I know that one. I can't hear it very well because my headset's on, though. No, I don't know that one. Alright, bad day for Hurdle. Oh, well. Explain sour cream and live. It's instead of sour cream and chives. It's sour cream and lives, but lives doesn't work So I just change it to live at the last minute It's not important to be funny. It's just important to make sense to me Have you heard of a VN called 428 Shibuya scramble? I heard good things about it. I have heard about it. I hear it's a weeb game. It's pretty bad. skip the last episode today? No. No. Should we rotate saves? <sighs> How are we doing today, chat? I'm having a really bad day. I hope it doesn't show. Why are you doing this to yourself? For the money! I gotta catch up to Andrew Tate. He has 32 sports cars. I don't even have one sports car. I gotta catch up. I'm behind. Is there even money in Life is Strange? There's money in streaming! 
What color is your Bugatti, Joe? Am I saying that right? I would probably get a red one, just a cliche. Thank you for the gifted subs, Atticus. See? There's always money in the in the Life is Strange stand. Then s Steam Neon White. No one wants to watch me play Neon White apart from the diehard fans. I'm telling you, if we stream Neon White, we'd have like 1,200 people here tops. I gotta shoot for being a 2k Andy now. I'm a 2k Andy. Bugattis aren't red, you're thinking of Ferrari. You can- What do you mean, Bugattis aren't red? If I went to Mr. Bugatti and I said, I want a- I want a red one, I'm pretty sure I could get one. Here we go, googling, Bugatti red. Oh look, red Bugattis. Fucking owned? Owned? Owned hard? Knights of the Owned Republic- Owned? Mr- <laughs> Oh, these are pretty good actually, holy shit. <laughs> Red is not a color, okay. Have you seen Knives Out or the new Glass Onion? Sorry if you've not seen this before. I've not seen the new Glass Onion. All I've heard good things, I would like to watch it. I have seen Knives Out and I liked it quite a bit. It was pretty good. This may come as a surprise to you, but when I watched Knives Out, I did not guess who the killer was. I think, well, maybe I guessed it like maybe 20 minutes before it was revealed, but like I didn't, I didn't know who it was. And, and like until we were close to the reveal I did I did not call it not cogniferous I was not I was not cogniferous correct modded Skyrim play through 20k viewers smiley face should we mod it with a with a voice recognition thing that whenever I say a stream meme the like 10 dragons spawn and try to kill me that would be fun Great title, I agree. Glass Onion has Among Us, so it's great. Parentheses, have not watched it. Close parentheses, okay. What are we playing after Strange Miss? More Strange Miss. We're just gonna cycle the Strange Games forever until they get good. Wait, are you doing all the games? We're we're we're, the, oh, we're more than halfway through the games. What do you mean we're doing all the games? There's only one more after this, right? 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 It's this and true true colors, and then we're done. Until they make another one. Don't note he has a lot of other games like this though that aren't in the Life is Strange series. Apparently they're pretty good. Hold on. Don't 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 note uh Steam. And they have like games like um, uh, Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. Oh, I remember seeing that in the Game Awards. They have, they they oh, they, they publish it or I saw some other one that they had, and it was like uh, it looked like Life is Strange. Tell me why. There we go. Based on the uh, the Backstreet Boys song, pretty bold move. Tell me why. Tell me why is the multi-award winning episodic adventure game from Don't Noty Entertainment in which twins use their supernatural bond to discover the truth of their troubled past? <laughs> Tell me why a life is strange tale. Oh man. Only 2,850 reviews. I'm shocked at how few reviews a lot of these games have. <clears throat> Hellfoat says, recommended, 11.8 hours on record. Recommended, just, but... I would suggest to get at a sale price. In comparison to the Life is Strange games 1, 2, and Before the Storm, Detroit Become Human, and even the Walking Dead series 1 and 2 that I have completed so far, the story wasn't as emotional, hard-hitting, gut-wrenching, etc. I don't think decisions are timed, I can't e even remember, and only finished the game yesterday. <laughs> what? Who cares if decisions are timed? Who gives a shit? And that made it seem less urgent emotional. Really? But perhaps had the benefit of making a more laid-back experience overall. 
It is good to have an LGBTQ plus character as a main character, spoilers, but it soon became almost irrelevant, which maybe is as was intended. What do you mean? So rather than focus on that as being the main thing about that character, however, as a what what sentence is this? As a cis person, I felt I didn't gain any more understanding of what it is to be trans. But perhaps it was my mistake to be looking for this angle. If it wasn't there, okay. Did I just read a spoiler on on stream? I'm sorry for a spoiler. This that was one sentence. That was one sentence. Dear God. The controls and camera are poor, are poor compared to recent games of this nature, but I can't remember how clunky or not the original Life is Strange was. I often had to back up and shuffle about to select what I wanted to. Yeah, I have to do this in Life is Strange too as well. And I miss the camera freedom of being human, but what's being human? Detroit being human. Wait, hold on. That's not the name of the game. De Detroit being human? It's become human. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> you know what? I don't blame them. Uh, but not game breaking. The voice acting is fine and is acted, but the animation at times seemed wooden. But again, not a game breaker. This is the, <laughs> the story, of course. <laughs> the dialogue. I don't think I've ever lost my shit as much as I did when I read that out loud. The dialogue is active. <laughs> someone, someone made a meme on Jads of um, when when it was revealed that the the scene at the end of Before the Storm wasn't a dream sequence, and I did like like my most outrageous what yet. And so, someone overlaid that on this fucking, like, commercial for Pizza Hut where the guy asks for a cheeseburger as a joke, and then the waiter's like, sure, I can get you a cheeseburger, and then all you hear is me go, what? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I don't know who made that, but good job, Chatter. Sure, I don't have it. It's probably going to be on on Jads. I genuinely did still believe it was a dream until the credits. Yeah, who who let her out? How did she get? She was she was tied to the chair. How did she? How did she get out of the chair? It. I I really thought that she was dead, and like this was like Chloe's subconscious talking to her, and Chloe like working through what she's gonna tell to Rachel, and at the end of that she was gonna wake up and she and Sarah was gonna be dead in the chair, and she was gonna stand up like wounded and been like, all right, I, I have a decision to make here. You know what I mean? Like that would that wouldn't that have been better? Is that what they planned to do when they forgot? Like, just like oh my god, it was bad. Anyway, let's continue this this review. <clears throat> the voice acting is fine, but the animation at times seemed wooden. But again, not a game breaker. This is about the story, of course. I was also a little disappointed that there didn't really seem to be much music. I loved how Life is Strange handled music. There was a nice enough background here and a couple songs, but a bit more would have been appreciated. The music choices in Life is Strange were pretty good. I do have to give it that. The setting is lovely, very scenic, and a pleasure to stop and look at, look around at the part, at the points where you can do so. And yes, I cared for the main characters and had other emotional responses to others, but didn't really have any difficult decisions when it came to options. And generally, conversations felt a bit linear until you got to the one point where that you maybe then made a choice what what i mean is you pretty much seem to be able to click through all options then make the decision rather than lose options along the way not so th th this this guy's just discovering fucking dialogue trees not entirely always the case though to be fair i can think of one conversation that punished me for a poor observation earlier and that was great but it is a good story overall and the whole storybook and puzzles side of things is nicely done i mean the puzzles are very nice really well done Remember that, remember that time in this game called Witcher 3 where um, you, throughout the whole entire game you're allowed to pick the dialogue options in any way that you want when they're clearly marked as optional? And then they hit you with like, like you just activated my trap card if um, at one point you ask everything else before you ask Yennefer how she's feeling after she just did something bad. And then she's like, I'm fine Geralt, but you know, 
thank you for inquiring about everything else first. And I was like, oh, damn, they got me. That was pretty good. I like that moment. Uh, so, yes, it is a decent story that takes something something like 11, 12 years to... I'm uh, sorry, hours to complete, but and with different endings, but little in the way of agonizing decisions to be made. Get it for the gentle pace, but not all unicorns and rainbow story experience. Okay, well, this this could be interesting, I guess. I don't know. I I feel like I know very little about the game now, <laughs> even after that long-ass review. <laughs> okay, like, what... What happens? Like, what, like, can I have like a little, a little like crumb of plot, my lord? Like, life is strange. One and two don't know. D. Life is strange before the storm, and life is strange. Two colors. Deck that. No, no, no. The before the storm people made true colors. They they gave them another one. No. Oh no. Oh no. No. I thought I thought before the storm was like the the quarantine for for them. Tell me why is honestly worse than before the storm? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. All right, negative review. Tell me why I should buy this game. All right, cool. All right, thank you. I mean, you played it for apparently 0 0.1 hours. Apparently it's very, very slow. Okay. Very, very slow. I was thinking about this um, after the stream yesterday. Like, having scenes, I think that... I think that um, a lot of uh, game directors and game writers... And I don't blame them for this, because it's something you have to discover as, as the medium is explored more. I think that, that they need to learn... And I would have to learn if I was in the situation too that some scenes that would work in a TV show and a movie don't work as an interactive thing when the player is in control of a character. So the two scenes that you know have the the brothers in the in the woods yesterday, and then when they go to the gas station, those two scenes were the worst scenes in the whole thing yesterday. They dragged on way too long, and I think one of the reasons, well, the main reason they dragged on too long is because they gave you so much to look at and interact with, and it wasn't really that. Interesting, and it's not building in a really in, in, in up to much. Although going through the store was a little better once you get to the gas station. Um, like in a TV show or a movie, I feel like those those scenes would be a lot structured to cut out all the boring shit, and you would just be like, "All right, just honed. Here's what we're doing." Whereas in a game, you have a responsibility to to seek out what's interesting, and if you're not prepared to like fill the scene with enough interesting things, and instead you filled it with a bunch of stuff that is just kind of bland and just there to take up space because. Because, you know, like, like having said that now, I realized the trap they fell into. It's that, well, we're make, we need to make these scenes feel authentic and this place would have picnic tables and like a porta potty and like signs about bears and animals in the area. But we don't need to see that, you know what I mean? But because you made it an interactive experience and you can wander freely wherever you want, you are just going to see that shit and it's like, okay, well, what if something happens over there, you know what I mean? So I feel like that's the trap that they fell into and, I, and it really held the, the stream uh, and the, the stream. Well, it did held the stream back, but it held the game's pacing back big time yesterday and I don't think it was uh, successful at all. I think it's just considered a feature of the genre at this point. Maybe, but, like, I'm thinking of most of the stuff that was in Life is Strange 1 had that sort of stuff too, and I was very rarely bored. I, I hate to say this, and I don't know if this is just, like, um... Do you know that thing about the Zelda cycle, that when every every new Zelda comes out, everyone hates it, and then when the next game comes out, suddenly the uh, the Zelda before that is the best one ever, and the, and the current new one is the worst one? Although that didn't happen with Breath of the Wild, that broke the cycle. Um, I just wonder if it's like when you're in something with like recent recency like like bias making you like dislike something or making you cringe more at it. Like having gone through before the storm and um and what you call it and this game now, like holy shit, do I miss Max? <laughs> like Max actually had like a personality. <laughs> like she she would like 
Like, she opens her locker and she's like, Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, hi, Frank or whatever. Kiss, kiss, you know what I mean? Like, like she would, like, comment on things more. Like, she felt like she had more, like, pep in her step. She would have, like, more things to, like, like actual an actual voice instead of just being, I am game protagonist. Oh, look, I am reading sign. You know, like, I feel like, like, Sean is really bland. I feel like Chloe is pretty bland, too. Although, Chloe, they tried a little too hard to have her actions be all rebel. But her actions don't really match with the personality, actually. Like, I don't know. Like, Chloe is not annoying to me because she's an edgy teen that has problems. Chloe's an, a, a really annoying to me because she likes to jump over a sign that says, Don't go over me, and then flip at the bird with both fingers. And I'm like, what are you, 12? Like, this is, like, this is cringe, bro. Like, like, what? Like, just things like that are what I, what I don't like. Um, but, like... Uh, like, the the scenes that are in Life is Strange 1 have these, like, building moments of little subplots between all the different characters, you know? Like, there's... I, th I said this yesterday as well, then I like like having all those characters that are still relevant for most of the story, although they kind of drop off after episode three or so, right? But they're still there, and it like feeds into what's going on, whereas there was none of that, um, none of that yesterday. McReady is still the best character? Uh, clearly, yeah. When are we doing Alcimanium Files? You're gonna love to hate it. It'll be fun. I, I don't know when we're doing that. It is on the list, though. Probably in a few months or so. What are the odds this last episode? Pretty low, actually. We're probably gonna finish it. We're, we're in. Anderson is losing his mind. Uh-oh, what did I say? When are we doing Yeek? Never. Next Christmas. You said you miss Max. <laughs> anyway, that's enough preamble for me. We started early today, so I want to talk for a bit. Let's get into it. Episode 2. First, there was an explosion. There were two wolf brothers. Oh my god. Living in their home there with their papa. <laughs> you know what? That that story at the end in the bus, that was gold. Let's do it again. They all lived happily together, but one day hunters took their dad away. Oh no. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. Yeah, we know. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. Until they met a bear named Brody. In the backwoods. Brody the bear. They were creepy creatures. They barely ate anything. Yeah, barely. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. They didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the Wolf Brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. Can you up? <laughs> Let me tell him. He's actually a bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf. Oh no! But a super wolf. Super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further. Are we gonna have a wolf recap the every episode? Of their pop, where they hope. Okay, is there actually? Because if so, I kind of want to just start episode three right now, just to see the wolf recap, and then just like. Just no context whatsoever. I don't know what the fuck this is going on. And then just go back and then and then get there and see what that is. Cause that that would just like like god damn. Is there a wolf recap every time? Find peace. Do it. No, if it's big spoilers though. The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit save file and port has succeeded. Oh great. Okay, cool.
to our grandparents. All right. That's the dedication. Deck first. Not deck nine. 2016 something. All right. It's almost Christmas. Oh, it's been a while then. All right. It's been, what, two weeks? What's happened in two weeks? Oh, the dog's still alive. How did they get the dog on the bus? Dogs aren't allowed on the Greyhound buses, aren't they? That's the only dog allowed, is the bus itself. Try with this one. Okay, music is a little too loud compared to uh, compared to the rest. One's too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. <sighs> when are the nosebleeds gonna happen? Man, it's just like Luke Skywalker. Who's Luke Skywalker? Let's hey, try to lift something cool else. Movie. You can watch it when you're older. Not too heavy though. I'm a little tired. How's sound now? Too loud? To uh, whatever? Mushroom. Ask to lift. You could try and lift mushroom? What? Are you stupid? You want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Sorry, I wanted to check something. All right. Shooting range. How about those cans? <clears throat> Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Who made that? Sure. Look. Oh, he's getting better. All right. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Damn. Wouldn't it have been, you know, way better if we were the ones with the powers? But, you know? Missed a step there. How about that one? I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. Like you did with the skipping stones and also the crane game. Where'd you get the coat from? Oh, he's doing it. Good job. Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good like at this. Like a boss. That was the biggest rock ever. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool. Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me. Right? Try it. Has to be real. <laughs> Sean! You suck! It hit your said, foot! Don't hit me! It was your foot! Who cares? I'm sorry, I thought you would stop it. It was your Serious. foot! Yeah. Oh, that sucked. Why? You How stopped it. What the hell happened there? Ready? All right. Think fast. <laughs> Stop. Whoa. Daniel. That's what 
offer you get? Happy? Hell yeah, I am. That was awesome. You did it, man. I did. So you better you be did nice it, man. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. <coughs> You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. You sick? Just a little beat. Or is Whoa. he telekinetic sick? You need to rest now. Oh no. Superhero. Oh no, he's sick. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill oh. up the canteens before we head back. Look like with dirty ass river that water? That has been going on for days, Daniel. Oh no. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Got any water purification tablets? Alright, let's discuss the rock. Just a few weeks ago, Daniel couldn't even lift a pine cone. You did awesome today, Daniel. I'm really proud of you. We've been practicing for just a few weeks, but your progress is crazy. That's because I rock. No, you lifted this rock. What do you mean, a few weeks? Oh, we lost the phone. Has it only been like, wasn't it like October 31st last episode or? Finding that house was a miracle. Daniel's getting cold. Okay, thank you. Let's get inside and warm him up. Where is the story go? I have no idea, isn't it great? It's been a month at least. It said it was December 16th. Wasn't it like October, like like very end of October? Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was October, maybe it was mid-October. I thought it was like October, uh, oh, November. Yeah, there's a whole other <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my birth month. Canteens. We just we just left them here. Ask for help. No, I can do it myself. We should fill these up now. Don't want to go out during the night. Here we go. Say some jokes. Entertain us because the game sure shit isn't doing anything for. Okay, chatter. I'll, let me just bust out some jokes. Zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Yeah, Ranger Diaz. Right, you're just doing the shit now, huh? Nice work. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Whoa. Uh, oops. Whoa. Sorry. Yeah. I said fucking. It's... Watch it. Yeah, watch it. Yeah, dude. Watch it. Seriously. Okay. Yeah. Like, I personally don't have a problem with it, but like you have to, you have to be like. What? What did you find? I think kids should be allowed to swear, but I also don't think that they should be allowed to swear because. Okay, I know that how that sounds. All right, kids should be allowed to swear if they understand the context in which those words are appropriate, and it's be, and since most kids can't understand that context therefore they are not allowed to swear. Do you understand? You know what I mean? Like like if they could understand, then I'm fine with it. But that's the reason why they can't. In kid-related news, Kate found out about Winnie the Pooh today, and she just thinks it's the most hilarious thing ever. He needs medicine. He's a poo. No, he's a poo bear. Poo bear? Heating. Why? Because it's got poo in the name. That's why. Who is hilarious if you're three? I went canoeing with dad on Wenatchee River once. The water was freezing cold. But we had so much fun. This looks pretty good. We got to fill the stream with, uh, with kid anecdotes. Whoa. Uh, are you getting hungry? We just have Not a house? Really? really? I'm getting hungry. I can. That's because I work it off. Uh, Sean? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? 
Maybe they're dead. But... They're children toys. They can't be dead. Right? <gasps> You're ruining my Bitcoin! Know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. Well... I'm glad they left. This is our lair now. Yeah. Just, I miss my friends. And my room. Sometimes. You didn't yeah. have any friends. You did have a room though. I'm sorry that you miss it. I trained Daniel. Daniel can train oh. Shroom. Almost forgot to check our traps today. Okay, I like Shroom as a name for a dog. I'm not really keen on Mushroom. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get there you go, Chatter. He is cold. Daniel helps me slice wood by holding the logs with his power. Pretty what? Useful. Why? Why does that have to happen? Too bad this wood is rotten. We had to cut some more to keep the house warm. Oh no. Enter. Okay. Is this like we a have test? To talk about it. Like we have to. Well, let's sit and think. He's cold. We should get him inside, right? I feel like this month has just flied over us. We're so lucky we found that old cabin. Yep. Gave us time to rest and process all that happened. Mm hmm. Prody was right. Who? We're stronger now. Okay. We look out for each other. Has one of these ever been we worth it? This together. Together. These woods are so peaceful. So quiet. No planes, no highways. Just the river. Continuously flowing. Oh my god. Yeah, whatever. Dude, sick, bro. Oh, let's sit on this one and have another think. Must have been a really sweet spot to get a tan in the summer. <sighs> we really nailed it with this two headed snow ogre. Yeah, they're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? This is a pretty good snowman. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. Wait, did you stuck some Pokemon cards on the top? Old Enjoy another canoe? The family who owned that cabin really seemed to enjoy themselves. Oh man, if this was a Fallout game, we could co we combine this back. canoe with the other one and make a, a working canoe. Burrow. Prank. Discuss. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. What? What's worse than a bear in Nano? Is did this bug? <laughs> Don't worry. We're the only wolves around. Yeah. Team Wolf Squad. Oh. I don't know if I could. Got an animal anyway. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that either. I mean, if I was hungry enough, almost certainly, but yeah. It's so silent out here. No neighbors, no roads. It's like we're on another planet. How old are these kids today? A new planet. That's exactly what we need. What? What kind of dog were you, Sandy? Oh, A cool stray mutt like our little mushroom? I hope we find out. Yep. Now me tonight. 
What, you mean a bird didn't get trapped under that? Like, at the gas station? How is this not working? Alright, let's go inside and have another million things to look at. Does the kid know their father died yet? Yeah, that was the climax of the, um, of the last episode. I think we're gonna go in and have a talk and, uh, Sean's gonna tell Daniel all about Rachel, Rachel Amber now. It's important that he knows about her. Clean the place up! What are you guys doing? Ooh, cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> oh no. Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah. Uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. You guys didn't More try like, uh -oh. any it's tests? It's time to go over the rules. For like I told you about three weeks. Off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Don't talk about Fight Club. Hide your power. Yeah, don't talk about your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? Free food. People will freak out. Nah. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Talk, talk about Fight Club. About yep, yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> And the final rule? I know. Come on. No um, shirts, no shoes. You can do it. Okay. Um. This is your first night danger? at Fight Club. Run from danger. Like a wolf. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh. I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a last resort. Only as a total last resort. How is that a choice? How do I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Make sure you aim your power at the chest. Yeah, because you don't want to kill him. Yeah, like if you if you aimed at the leg, like. Oh my god. Telekinetic blast to the leg? Pooh, dead for sure. Definitely aim for the chest. Out of your control. Shouldn't have left let you alone. Shouldn't have let you alone? What is that? Let's go that one. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. Those are some pretty intense forehead creases for a 16 year old, huh? But. I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because you couldn't. <coughs> oh no! <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. <sighs> she must be hungry. What about you? I'm nah. always hungry. <laughs> then let's grow back. Do you think he burns calories using the telekinesis dinner. power? <laughs> did I ask yeah. that already, or did I just think Before it? Before she eats us. Uh oh, oh, foreshadowing. Okay, so this isn't this isn't all their practice sessions. This is just when he moves something bigger. I'm guessing because there's no way, like they did something four days, four days, and then December. Oh, very very non-committal there. It's December sixteenth. I know that. Just scribbled there. He's definitely a fast learner. Maybe okay. too fast. It's not December 16th, it's December 1st. Why did I think it was December 16th? I thought it said December 16th. Man, how tired am I today? Make fire. Yeah, let's make a fire. It said 2016. Maybe I thought it was October 16, and that made me jump to 16. Alright, my bad. I'm really off today. Oh, shit. 
Where did I put my lighter? Oh no. What sadistic scene do you have in mind? Open your backpack, check on your objectives. Oh, what did you spend some money on? We don't have enough money to make it through the month, so I had to steal some food from the nearest town. Did some dumpster diving too. Also, no matter what, you have to steal something. I wonder if I should throw it away too. Couldn't bring myself to do it so far. Brody souvenir. I'm not giving it back to Daniel. He has to learn. I stole it from him. USB key. Still don't know what's on it. Wait, is that important? In case you need help with math, right? When are we going to call Jen? Wonder if our home became a local attraction after the events. Not sure I can ever go back there. Weed pipe. Pocket knife. This blade needs sharpening, but it's still a useful tool. Where'd you get that from? Condoms. Why do you still have the condoms? Pine cones. <laughs> On the road again. Need cash and supplies before we head to per Puerto Lobos. I hope I'm saying that right. We'll hide somewhere till we find out what the fuck is up with Daniel. No fucking idea how we'll handle this. Tired. Try to sleep now. Warm here. Very bus. Taking you where you want to be. Where? We're getting off next station, wherever it is. Charity thrift store in some town southeast of Albany found layers for Daniel and me. Harry was cool. Who? Slept in someone's backyard shed. One out of five would not recommend. It itches the sock walk. Alright. Sleeping in a shelter. Fake names. They didn't seem to give a fuck. No one seems to give a fuck here. They even let mushroom in. Invisible. Oh, nice. Crackhead at the shelter almost snatched our stuff last night. Daniel freaked out and lights flickered. Can't risk another institute. Uh, heading out for the forest again. Too dangerous to have him around people for now. I'm so tired. November 4th, 2016. Hitchhiked along Highway 20. Geologist on the way, Mount Jefferson. <gasps> Jefferson picked us up. Not big on talking. Told her we were on a survivalist trip. Lamayo. Most accurate lie I've ever told. OMG, we found a house. A real fucking house. Looks like an abandoned cabin. No one has been here for years. Was just here waiting for us. Hansel and Gretel style. Mice Palace. Settled in. November 8th. Oh, they found this pretty quickly then. Had to leave Daniel to look for food. Oh, they've been here for a while too. He hates me. I hate myself too for leaving him alone. Hope I don't get lost. One mile away. Previous town. Right. One hour plus. Uh, zero crossed out equals traps. All right. Oh, it's it's the key for his uh for his map. You haven't caught anything in a month? Damn. Nearest town is fifty miles away from across the forest. No way I can commute there every day. Managed to steal canned food from a couple stores. Found the rest in the garage. Getting good at this, but not proud. Rock bait, twigs, loose, minute noodles, tomato soup. What about duck soup? Crackers, ravioli, nice. Applesauce, and eh, bananas, nice. Potatoes, nice. Think we can last uh, plus two, minus two weeks on these. We'll need to stock up again after. Found my way back. Daniel, okay, but he broke some stuff around the house trying to use his power. We'll try to control, try to help him control it. Practice starts tomorrow. Focus it. Weight, size. November 15th, 2016. No crew without a captain, and no captain without a ship. Ship equals six, captain equals five, crew equals four. When the ship, the captain, and the crew are complete, only then you can use the last dice to score some loot. Play, play with the highest loot, over 20 wins the game, ahoy. Dan and Shroom Adventures. Alright, sounds fun. He did it. Lost again. It's kind of cute. Back to town today, walk slower with the snow, scavenged and trash, found tons of good stuff. How can people waste so much food? Trash panda persona. <laughs> Daniel sick, tired and coughing, will go easy on the outside training until he feels better. Uh, might need to go back in town soon for some medicine. Uh, BC equals 30 mile walk in the snow. BC. Well, you tried, Sean. I'm just better. How can this kid win every time at a dice game? Cheating? Oh, for sure. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Oh, he's turning into a clicker. Okay, let's find the, uh, the lighter. High school feels so far away now. Diary's a little better than last time. Yeah, it's definitely more succinct. And you know how much I care about that. 
Cigarette pack. All right, is the lighter in the cigarette pack? Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. Oh, dude, weed, nice. Nope. No poo. All right. Laundry water, broken window. Can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. Uh, this place feels really cold. Is it a mistake that they even let the fire die? Like, it seems like they have... Like, I don't know enough about this. Like, just keep that fire going, right? This thing is strong as a rock. Okay, seriously, where's this lighter? Hey, have you seen the lighter? Thanks, Hank. Dickhead. Aha! Time to get warm. Okay. Let's get the fire started and then we can look around at everything. What the hell is that? Hank was trucker X, yeah. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. Dang, I am We're starving. so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a piece of cord with these clothes. Plus five street cred. Daniel's delivery Nice service. streets ahead. Wait, this I hot dog man issue is kind of weird. Wait, I could have only fed the dog before lighting the fire. <laughs> what? Shoot, poor doggy's out of water. Okay, let's refill it. How you doing, Mushroom? I wish I helped Dad more the best with the house the chores back then. I'm just glad we found Tanya him. must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. Dad, Maggie, and John, Agathy Falls, summer '93. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Hi, Dad. Carlos here. Daddy Hill. Say hello to your little girl in Miami. Yes, there is... You know what? I don't care. <laughs> Food. Mm, tough choice. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. About hey, what? What are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli? Or ravioli. This sucks. Why couldn't you find us better? I'm so food? tired of eating the same shit. I just want one slice of pizza. No more batteries. Thank God. Yeah, true. Kind of weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. There's a special place in hell for people who make children's toys that when you turn them off, they have like a little goodbye jingle. So like you turn it off and instead of it being, all right, I, I understand the command, the toy has to stop and shut up. Instead it's like, okay, turning off, see you next time. Do -do 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 -do. Like, no, fuck oh. you, I want it off. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much, it hurts, Sean. I know, Dan. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Mm -hmm. I know, Dan. <laughs> It's okay to think about it. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. I, we never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about it. Oh, it goes outside. I was like, I do it too. I, I thought, shit, there's a whole room that you guys haven't explored. All right, that makes sense. All right. Pro tip. Always boil the water. Yep. 
All right, at least Unless you're doing you that. want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Whoa. Hello, motel room soap. How you doing, Mushroom? That still lasts? No way I can give any of these to Daniel. <gasps> Too risky. I'm just Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. This is rank. <sighs> Sharing with Daniel was the worst. I had water. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but... So, again, le like I said earlier, um, having the scene in a, in, a, in a show or a movie where they could just, like, pan to these things real quick while dialogue is going on or whatever, and they can show how they're living, how they've been surviving, would be, like, an interesting, like, somewhat really quick scene, out. right? But now, because it's like, oh walk around and do a bunch of things like there's some stuff to interact with just slows this down to a fucking crawl and as we just saw like i wasn't able to water the dog because i did something in order do this uh, out of order so i just feel like there there's too much to interact with here they should just have the interesting stuff i guess Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap okay oh it was important to come in here Oh, so there you go. Like I have to come in here to get a pan to make the food too. So it's like it's not even optional. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. You didn't sweep up the glass? What the hell? Got to love one hit wonders. Or it's that the um, stuff to interact with doesn't relate to the story at large enough and uh, isn't that interesting. Could go both ways, I think. Kind of reminds me of Dad's cheesy posters. If you don't find it interesting, just don't do it. But how do I know? What if there's something interesting here that's fun? Or I need to do it because I need to find something and I don't realize that I needed that pan to cook or whatever, you know? Like, after Daniel's I've done enough of them, I guess it's like at that point, all right, I'm not going to do it anymore. But it keeps getting worse. I like doing it with, um, with uh, in Life is Strange 1. Dead for a week. But at least we got some news. I'm used to ink, so this will be different. Wonder where Brody is now. Sean, I'm oh, a yeah. better. Oh yeah, this, this, no this, internet. This letter again. All right. Of course. All right. He's the town fucking hero. Now. Newspaper is important. Local hero attacked by fugitives in storm invasion. Police are investigating a storm invasion by the two Seattle runaways believed to be responsible for the death of a Seattle police officer in October. How? Hank Stamper, owner of a gas station off Highway 5 and a pillar of the community, said he confronted the two brothers, Sean and Daniel Diaz, after they allegedly stole items from his store. Stamper told the police that the brothers escaped into the woods. Yeah, I was scared. You know how crazy kids can, can be these days, especially ethnic kids. How can I feel bad for him? Ashley Matthews, sister of Officer Kindred Matthews, killed in a mysterious and controversial Seattle incident and left two dead. Okay, so they're acknowledging that it's a, a very weird thing that happened. Has released a statement regarding the threats she received in online critics of the officer. My brother was a kind man. He was in the force for only six months and shouldn't have been alone that day. My heart is with the Diaz family and all the victims of that terrible accident, including us. The police department needs better funding so no officer goes on patrol alone if their partner is sick or un unavailable. Kindred dedicated his life uh, to helping others, especially children in at-risk homes, and he always volunteered his time for charity. It's easy for people to judge and attack behind the keyboard, and just as we mourn for others, we mourn for the loss of a, of a brave public servant. All right. So she's not entirely wrong. Clearly, he shouldn't be there alone, but, you know, the even more truthful thing is that he shouldn't have been there at all. Like, he, he should not have been given a weapon if he's that fucking jumpy with it. Dude shouldn't have been a cop. No excuse not to binge read. Yeah. Patrick Daniel Hill. doesn't need to see this. This is a reminder for your scheduled chemotherapy appointment at... Wait, what? Okay, so this is someone who lived here? Hmm. I 
could do a super cool manga about Daniel. That's pretty good, isn't it? No way I'm touching that. Man, I miss listening to music so fucking much. And weed, bro. <laughs> Daniel loves his brand new tablet. What are those up there? Okay, get the food. Next, Chef Diaz will prepare the can. Music, bro, that's a PS1. Sensible chucker plus two. Chucker. <laughs> Sensible chuckle plus two for me, chatter. <laughs> There's no way there was that much in the can. All right. Nah, it's not ready yet. All right. I'm a ravioli. Nah, it's not ready yet. Okay. I'm a ravioli expert. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a rat. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli. Nah, I'm a ravioli. I got him to say it. Yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. <laughs> Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, really? <gasps> Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. What the hell is this animation? Yes, this is how dogs drink. Eh, whatever. That's not worth criticizing. I mean, I'm still me. I think I could get used to living like this. Look at this goose man. Quiet. Free. Dog water. It's super political, I know. Oh, so now you let me pet you, huh? <laughs> Give and take. I get it. Wish I had known there was going to be a wait for the ravioli to, to, to be ready thing. I would have done that and then walked around. Alright, serve meal. <sighs> okay. Ready? Dinner's ready. Okay. Chef boy RD. Getting sick of ravioli. Spaghetti and truffles. Better than nothing. Alright. So, is better than nothing gonna be like an angry shut up and eat your ravioli? Or. Or is spaghetti. Sp just pretend it's spaghetti and truffles? Let's go spaghetti that and truffles. That was spaghetti la tias. <laughs> Didn't you taste the famous truffle sauce? Yep. Plus, I love the garlic bread. And ice cream. God, I love garlic bread too. Where are you getting candles from? Ooh, you want some too, huh, mushroom? What? Oh. You didn't eat it all? Oh, come on. Bon appetit, mushroom. Bon appetit, mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> the placement of the best dad ever cup is showing that in front of Sean is telling the viewer through symbolism that Sean is becoming the father figure in Daniel's life and is now adopting that role after the death of their dad. It is a careful placement in frame for the viewer to see without telling it explicitly to the audience. <coughs> Who knew? Sorry. I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. 
um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Okay, time to look at everything again. But now it's nighttime. Nighttime? Daytime! This nighttime? house is cool, but. Daytime. It doesn't help with Daniel's health. At least we have fresh water in our front yard. Mm. Nothing here. Yeah, I don't remember seeing a map here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? Mm. I ate it. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Okay, the candle's out, Where's dude. the map that was with my stuff? I don't know. What the f- I'm not keeping track of your things. Do you have fire powers? Are you, are you Rachel Amber? How did you do that? Damn, kid. Where did he put it? Oh, it's in his stuff. He drew on it. It's this. Hmm. Flip it I over. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. Okay, dog. Move. <sighs> okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Let's go, girl. And ask Daniel. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom. Come here, girl. <sighs> what oh. a great team. We have to do that. Great team. Time to play dad, dog. Sean, there's someone at the door. What the? Oh, crap. When did he show up? I don't know. Mother Daniel? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Actually a little scary. What the hell, Daniel? That was insane. Okay, good job. Out of your mind? Yeah. Man. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Oh, come on. Don't be such a pussy. Don't you think your power can be put to a better use? Anyway. There's still food in that in that in that pan. Come on. Okay, place map. All right. Okay, I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Something interesting almost happened there with someone at the door. Look. Oh, well. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. That's kind of convenient, isn't it? Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... Don't like me? They're family. They're family, right? Right. And Plus family always for what Karen always cares for each other. For what mom did. Um, what did mom do? You sure? Is mom alive? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well okay. But Mushroom has to agree, too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? I hate this dog. <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our jo last I said it. Here. I said it. I hate the How dog. About a team with dice? I hate the dog. If I win? I don't hate dogs. I hate this dog. 
I get. I have two dogs in the room right now. What did the dog do to you, Joe? What did it do? Draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, loser. Party time. Oh no, someone's really okay. at the door this time. Ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Oh, now we're playing the game. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Just need a six. Do 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 your turn, lover. Right. If he gets it first try, he's cheating for sure. Got a ship now. Wait, what? I don't understand Need the rules. Need a captain? Come on. Yes. Ship, captain, and crew. Oh, you just need to get six, five, and four on three I rolls? Need score now. Pretty please. Oh, that's a nice score. <laughs> I'm so hmm. scared. Cheating oh, for sure. Pretty good. <sighs> okay, let me throw now. <gasps> Can I get something better this time? <sighs> Come on, I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. Still incomplete? Sounds what the like hell? a no score. <gasps> Call Daniel out. Yeah, he just cheated, right? You kidding me? I can see the dice rolling, dude. What did I do? You're just finding excuses. Stop cheating, man. You gotta be better than this. Especially now. We must be better. I need a ship. Give me a six. What the hell? All right, that's that time there was no cheating. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes. Yeah. Full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. Yeah, it's a game of a game of chance. I wonder what we would have Use done if we didn't captain. find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Jesus uh, boring. You remember Add that time all I beat dice Dad at chess? Loot. You mean we beat Dad? Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. Definitely. He was a great pirate. Man, this is just so just fucking like riveting. Us. Captain Diaz, King of the Sea. Sit, please. Sit. Again, if designed as a show or a movie, I'm sorry, I'm going to be saying this a lot, I think. And it was just like making the food into the scene playing dice, and then in between that, as they're talking, it just showed shots of the, of, the, of the house that they're in. I think this could be fine to establish what they've been doing. But the fact that it's like slowed down so much into this is just so boring. Got a ship now. Come on, give me something, anything. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa... Joe, do you have ADHD? No, I don't. Are you asking me because I'm bored by this and, and that makes you think I have it? Because I don't know, I think being bored by this is a pretty, pretty mid-take. We'll have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. 14 again? Sorry. Oh, he got oh, zero last this time. Okay, I like playing I dice and stuff, too. Whoa, Daniel the big nerd, getting sick of screens. No way, it's nice for a change. Can I stop but whenever I want? Or I still want my play box. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I hope Noah is keeping our Minecraft fortress alive for when I come back. I'm sure he is, pal. No way he'd give up your super kingdom. I need a five. That's not what, what mid five. means now. What do you mean? Still incomplete? 
Jeez. Sounds like a no store. Yes. Full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. More pirates. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the loot. Good luck beating that, matey. Don't worry about that. This is the future. Mushrooms growing up so fast. Really? I don't see much difference. Well, she's still a tiny dot. But I can tell she's getting older. And smart. You're a smart girl. Right? <laughs> she's so cute. I love her forever. Can we skip the 13 Sentinels? Yeah, because that's going to be better than this shatter. And I win. Do you know what it means? <sighs> yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Hmm. Let's see. Finish. A poop. Really? Yeah, Classic. It suits you. Well, thank oh. you very much. So, let's do another one? Yeah, okay, it's getting late. It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. Oh no, someone's at the door! She has to pee! Oh okay, no! Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Gross. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. <sighs> all right, all right. Kind of feel like this is a mistake. Like, he's not, the kid's not that sick. You might just have a little bit of a cough or a cold. Leaving the safety that you found here. I mean, you have to leave for food soon anyway. Eh, maybe it's fine. I don't know. I don't, I don't agree with this. I heard you the first time, dude. Alright. Is he going to be gone when we come back? Nah, that would be interesting. I like snow. When did his face get cut up? Just something that happened. The dude to be that was like a month and a half ago. Thirteen Sentinels was nominated for Best Narrative in the Game Awards 2020. This game won a BAFTA! And was nominated for several more. BAFTA sucks, clearly. But so do the Game Awards. Oh, damn. Bill Clinton was also nominated. Not only was he nominated, he won. Reformed Orthodox <laughs> Rabbi Bill Clinton. Oh, no, you don't have powers. Sorry, man. Are we ever going to know why the kid has powers? If this exact plot was happening, but with Max and Chloe, it would have been a banger. It, it even kind of fits with them being on the run after destroying Arcadia Bay, wouldn't it? Yeah, it, it would be more interesting, I agree. You know Bill Clinton loves 13 Sentinels? Really? Well, he also loves Hillary Clinton, so I have to question his taste. Oh, he's asleep. Aw, oh, that didn't take long.
your favorite wow class uh probably warrior overall but i don't know what state they're in now so that just a whole load of nothing happened out there huh knock on the door daniel cut it out it's not me <gasps> oh wait never mind okay Two years later. <laughs> Let the fire go out. What the hell? Hey, Daniel. Oh, we're leaving. How okay. are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Yes, the game does suck. Oh my god. It's Rachel Amber. <laughs> Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Whoa. No more swearing. Okay. No more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. <sighs> Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? What the f Did you know Amber's <sighs> fossilized tree sap? She had about that much personality, yeah. In. That's true. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Big brother. <laughs> big bro. We got veggies. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, it looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? Uh, I'm gonna oh. check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and Holy I'll shit. catch up with you The guys. game just raised the plot flag. Oh my god. Plot ho! Here we go! Okay, that provided enough time for something to happen. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. I agree. Okay, so something has happened now. The kid did not take his bag, therefore he has to come back for his bag. But are we taking our bag? Okay, we're adding the canteens. All right. Okay, all done. All right. Where the hell is he? Uh-oh, second flag is up. Daniel! Sure, Daniel! Sure, sure. Hey, you out here? Ethan! Jason! Daniel! Jason, where did he go? You got me searching high and low. My heart is racing. Press X to Jason. Oh, what if we went that way? All right, the kid's not here, so you know what that means. Now back to the good part. Do 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 do, and you go up a little bit, and then you go up and you make a little stubby arm, and then you do. A we have a two-day like walk ahead of us. And then you do a little stubby arm again. Better get going. 
and then the other big foot. All right, and now time for the reveal. Yeah, still got it. Still got it. Damn. Decoy of snow. Daniel, where are you? Methinks the dog is dead. Which makes me sad because I actually did like the dog. Uh oh, those are what some are they big doing? tracks. Wait, we who, have to leave. Who made all these tracks? All right, so the dog made these tracks. Okay, so they went over here. Blood. What the fuck happened here? Okay, so Daniel didn't call out. Okay, is this another one of Daniel's epic pranks? Bazinga. That's not good. It's a real wolf. <laughs> it's Brody. He wanted his bandana back. Ben Brody. Daniel? Oh, it's a cougar. Oh shit. Oh shit! Daniel! Do not move. You killed her! She We're was true. My Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! This icon implies Daniel's power. Step forward, don't interfere. You know what? I'm not interfering. You killed my dog! Oh, we're gonna do well tonight. Daniel. It just. It, it just happened. What's happening to me? Shh. You. You just wanted to protect us. I. Save your strength. We'll. I was. I was eating that dog. Oh my god. Are you. Are you insane? Oh man, that's a bad joke, chat. Figure it out. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for Sharon. <laughs> it's all right. I'm right here. Shroom was such a fun girl. Didn't you say you hated that dog? Yeah, but now she's dead, so like, like with Rachel Amber, she was the best dog ever. She was like a canine chameleon. She was so hot. Here, you should do it. You okay, Yoshi? Was that it? Well, 
Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember running through the snow with you and how you, you snuggled. And I'll never forget you. Never. God, the dog is getting a better send off than the dad. Rip. Good girl. Rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With dad? Please let me say no. There's no such thing. <laughs> it's just us. Here. Okay. Okay. Still. I think that's unfair. I know, man. <sighs> but you'll always be with us. In memories. Like Dad. That's all that matters. Yes. I'll never forget her. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. See, see, the game can Sean. be fun when something happens. I'm sorry I killed the cat. I don't know what I was thinking. What? What do you mean? It was gonna attack us. Oh, I could. I know. What did you think was gonna happen? Oh, okay. I've made the cat float in the air. Okay, let me step in. All right, put the cat down now, and then the cat's gonna be like, "Thank you. I'm gonna go now." Like, like no, like maybe it would have done that, but like you can't be sure. Come on, buddy. Illegal poaching. A trucker X is gonna step out from the tree. <laughs> Hunting without a license, huh? I knew that you kids would. <laughs> Keep out wolves inside. All right. Keep wolves out inside. Wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? Yeah. They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. Yeah. And then a rabbit gets caught in one and just dies for no reason. Bye, Lord Snowman. You look after our mushroom. Okay, one second. Sorry, chat. I need to blow my nose. And I'm not going to do that to you, so let me mute the microphone. All right, it didn't go well. Back to the bad part. So long, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Damn, girl, you sniff at that thing? Damn, bitch, you live like this? I don't know why that's so funny. Who decided to do that with Max and, like, Roxanne from a Goofy movie? Who thinks of these memes? Still muted. You actually got me, Chatter. Well done. You ever think, you know, for quite a while, why they broke up between Goofy Movie 1 and 2? I wonder what went wrong for those kids. What are your thoughts on the Goofy movie? It's an excellent movie. One of the best uh, best and most underrated movies that they ever made by Disney.
Emperor's New Groove is really good too, but I, I think it would be uh, Marvel shit now. Okay, is there supposed to be music here? Wow, the lack of music really turns this into like something's about to happen instead of a montage, huh? Holy crap. Music is so powerful. Oh no, wow, this is dangerous as all hell. Good thing that log was there. Your faction, your faction, do do do. They could have put non-copyright music here. Yeah, they should have, right? They should have made, like, a second track for that. Especially considering how important streaming is to video games. They really should have. Killing or not killing the cougar actually has meaningful consequences later on. What do you mean? What, the cougar comes... Family comes to the back? The dead cougar sends his regards? What? Now it's probably gonna be like like Daniel like knows how to kill him now with his powers. It's good that he got a taste for it. Wow, this is just dog shit without the music, isn't it? This is probably pretty good with the music. Maybe we should just maybe we should just had the music on and just ate the hit. It's not so bad on Twitch, it's when the, uh, the VODs are uploaded on YouTube that it could turn into, like, an ordeal, but, you know, I don't put shit on YouTube. <laughs> oh, so I also forgot to do today was to the, publish the, the first two Ragnarok streams. Those are ready to go. God damn it. Alright, we're done. Just have your editors put Persona music over this. What editors? What kind of operation do you think I'm running here? What the f It's just me in the spider basement. <coughs> if you came down right now, you would look at me and make Max's face and go, Damn, bitch, you stream like this? Like, seriously. We made it, Daniel. And the, the mouse is gone, I think. It's been a long time since I was here. Aw, oh, Santa when Claus is dead. Before you were born. Merry Christmas. Ding dong. Who the fuck Come are here. you? Let me check you out. Uh, Claire wouldn't, likes everything. Wouldn't the police have this place under surveillance? Like, where are they gonna go? That's like, all oh, their grandparents, that's a possible link. Sh surely. 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 Super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. Oh no. We don't want to look like total pigs. What are you waiting for? Blue butterfly. Sean. I'm a ravioli expert. I'm a ravioli expert. What if they went on vacation? Then or we have a place to stay. Something. We'll figure out something. Okay. Hasn't even been a minute. Yeah, just wait. Seriously. 
I'm sorry, we don't want any of- No, it can't be her. No way. Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my. Is that Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard- Look who's here. After all this time. Um. Like, do you guys not watch the what news? What the hell are you doing here? Steven, watch your mouth. Yes, well, Steven. It's kind of a long story. Hey, can I go answer the phone and pretend to be Darth Vader? <laughs> it's really important. I just want to no do it for some thing. reason. You know he's sick, right? No. Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. We got music for this one. That's nice. Thank you, DMCA gods. Can't wait for this to get copyright claimed anyway. Haha, <laughs> just because the rights were available when the game released doesn't mean they're available forever. Fuck you! Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. We came all the way here for cough medicine? So, we came all the way here for some fucking Robitussin? What? He could have been worse. Oh he no! Lucky. Yeah, his cough could have developed into a Stephen, sneeze. May I talk to you for a second? Luke! Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Yeah, why aren't they offering you food? What kind of messed up grandparents are these? Finally. I want to listen. I just hope they let us stay the night. Sean, shut up! Who the fuck is Gus? Mistake coming here. There's food in there. Feels so awkward to be here. Hey, grandson, did you kill a cop? I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. If your grandson killed a cop, would you hide them from the police? Uh, it depends on the circumstances. Info, I need info. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, do uh, you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks... In these circumstances? Um, probably not, because I think... Okay, would I hand them over to police? No. Would I help them get a lawyer and go and explain what happened? Yes, in these circumstances. To go. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. That didn't happen. Now, if you want us to help you, did you? Oh, we really should have killed that guy and left no witnesses. Yeah, we're getting screwed here for being nice. Hurt that police officer in Seattle? No, it was with Daniel. Seriously, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Fucking bullshit. All of these suck. What? What do you mean I don't know? I don't know. I swear I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but 
All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? Had no choice. I freaked out to protect Daniel. I freaked out. I freaked out. It happened so fast. I saw- What kind of question is that, Grandma? What the- f The cop on the ground and my dad and- and I freaked out. Hold on, Sean. Sorry, I just heard a noise from across the street. I have to go check out if if uh, if Chris is okay. One second. Do 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 do. Oh man, he shoveled the driveway. What a nice, responsible kid. Knock 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 knock. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's your dad? I heard a noise over here. You can come over whenever you want. By the way. Oh, I know. You poor thing. But that just made things worse for you and your brother. <sighs> You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You can't be sure, Sean. You guys wouldn't look after them? Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. Oh, I see where Sean gets his forehead creases from. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Okay, why are you... What, 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 what the fuck is this, chat? Why are they treating him like an equal adult who is like making adult grown up this what are your plan like what what is this? Why why is this not like okay you're here grandparents swoop in boom time to fucking talk this what 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 the fuck is this? I I uh, Down to Mexico figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. I've had warmer conversations than this with the grocery Before store we lady. Take the road again. How can you? Apparently, her car broke down. And, you know, right before one of the, like, a bad, a bad snowstorm, and she had to take the bus. And then the, what happened was is that the next, the next day, her, her brother picked her up. And on her, on the brother's way out of the parking lot, he got fucking rear-ended, and now it's a big fucking ordeal just because her car broke down. Boom, butterfly effect. Like, you know? I commiserated with her. It was, it was, it was pretty bad. You know? Look out for your brother if you're both running from the police. You two are gonna stay with us. Oh. Oh, Steven. Uh-oh. Steven's gonna Maybe call the cops. Should... After He's gonna call the popo. Left. Uh oh. We mean Dad left. Never really wanted us in your life. Whoa. I can't blame him. Yeah, we were dicks. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it. It's Grandpa X. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Seriously? <laughs> That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down. The <laughs> He's effect. like, yeah, that was nice. Let me squirm. Yeah, that was nice. Good job, she. Who, 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 who the fuck is? Th She's like intense, huh? She should have been named Karen. House, no mess, no noise. Ch chill, chill. Are no service. The Ch biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. All right. Beaver Creek is small, and nosy, and nosy. We can stay. Serious? Awesome. I left the Ooh, shirt. Sean, Damn. Guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he is. But he seems better already. Yeah, it's just anyway, a cough. You and Daniel will stay here, at least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. Oh man. Okay. So, I bet you're hungry. All right. Let me fix you something. 
So, wh what the hell is going to happen here? Because we saved that kid falling out of the tree, someone's going to call the police and show up and, and shoot the grandparents? Oh, sorry, my, my mistake. The grandparents are white, so that's not going to happen. No, seriously, what's going to happen here? I is someone going to see that happen and they're going to get scared and they're going to be ostracized? Like, I, I don't know. How do you feel, Super Wolf? Way better. It's nice Super and warm in here. <laughs> and the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Uh -oh. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. Guest room. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. Never I'm met before, by the now. way. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? No, I don't Why? believe in heaven. Sean says heaven is... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> even real. No, boys. That's not very polite. Oh, to who? To Jesus? What do you mean? We always say a prayer at bedtime. Oh, I'm sorry. Always. I'm new. We we never do. Sorry. Sorry, Claire. Yeah. Sorry, Claire. You didn't mean it like that. We just never had to go to church. This is an insane character. This is an insane character. This is like Jody from David Cage character. This is this is an insane character. Oh, I see. Well, I can still say a prayer for my grandchildren. All right. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Please. Not the asshole. Her house. Her real. Give us her the rules. strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Hey, Reddit. Me, sixty-five F and and. My husband, 67M, uh, we're just chilling in our house. I wouldn't say chilling. We're, we're relaxing with our model train set uh, upstairs the other night when there was a, a ring at the doorbell. Went downstairs, opened the door, and there are my two grandchildren. They were downstairs there. Background, uh, their dad had just died in a police altercation where a cop was murdered from some freak explosion and no one has seen these two uh, in a while. Uh, also, uh, we're, sh we're estranged with our daughter, who is their mother, who we haven't seen in, a in about 20 years. Anyway, they came into the... <laughs> She, she was a, a total bitch, by the way, and, and didn't abide by our rules, and we really think that this passed down to, to her, her kids, that we one of which I've never met before. Alright? Northern Lion stops, looks at the camera. D didn't need to know that. You're just trying to you're just trying to color our perception and trying to inflict your bias on me against these people before I even get to what they did. I'm not falling for it. Didn't need to add that into the, into the story. But alright, let's continue. Alright? Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. Yeah, okay. No worries. Alright, Grandma. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. Anyway, they wouldn't say a prayer at bedtime, even though they they should know that we say prayers at bedtime. We always say prayers at bedtime, you know? Like, we, we always do. That's just what we do in this house. And one of them said that heaven, they don't think heaven is real. I told them that was very rude. And I explained to them that in this house, we always say prayers before bedtime, and that's what we were going to do. They apologized, but I don't think they meant it. So, Reddit. <laughs> comment <laughs> not the asshole your house your rules but you are insane redditor received reddit golden smiley face for this comment <laughs> sorry i'm having fun <laughs> feels so nice to have a bed again and the bathroom i hear that <laughs> plus you don't smell anymore whatever yeah well that prayer thing was Pretty weird. Yeah, I agree. I really hope we'll be okay here. I think so. And the more important thing 
She'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Gonna have to ask first. Uh, chat, is the mom dead? I, or, or have they not con denied or confirmed that yet? Break time went about five minutes. I need to pee, so it's gonna be pretty much on time today. They said that the mom's gone. Is the is the mom? It's it's not. Well, I'm just getting an intense amount of deja vu right now. Holy shit! Oh wow! God damn! Does something burst through the window in this scene? Oh fuck! No way. Why? I don't. I don't remember. Shit. I don't remember what the question was. Let's say why. Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about it. I'll go in the room. Okay. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now, and where we're off to. Mom left us. Did she leave because she's psychic? She made her choice. She has her her telekinetic we powers. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean. Yeah. At some point, are we going to be in a police station and and s some mysterious force is going to like burst in, like like uh, like the the Robo Ninja guy from Metal Gear Solid? Jesus Christ, that's Mom! I knew your powers had awakened now because you killed that police officer. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your. Well. He you gets know. me. I was wondering. How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and... It just happens. Does it hurt? Feeling strong? Is there any instance of... of In media, of a character having some sort of like... The power that they can't really know how to control and... And emotions make it weaker instead of stronger? It seems like in every media, it's like, oh, you get angry, and it's like, raw, and now it's like, raw, and fucking, like, uncontrolled, and raw, it's so much more powerful. And it's like, emotions can, like, focus something, but it's always like, if you get angry, I can go further, beyond, like... The for- nah, the for- the for- fucking Sith are- the, even Jedi channel emotions, don't they? Not just the Sith. Kinda One Punch Man. True color. <laughs> okay. Does it hurt? Wait, does it hurt? Nah. It's kind of itchy, though. And exhausting. Sorry. Itchy. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind. Don't tell. Everything should be fine. Don't, don't don't show don't talk. Yeah, that's that sums up the writing for this game. <laughs> it's a bit on the nose. Okay. <laughs> Sleep tight. No <laughs> cup. All right. Hopefully, we have an idle scene now that we can uh, we can go pee on. Okay, we've been here a while now. One week later, and the room is messy. Clean up your room, you're a guest. Well, oh, you guys got posters? Time to smoke up some weed. Okay, I can't imagine the second day here going well. Skipping over that's kind of cheating a little bit. Space heater plugged into an extension cord? Are you insane? Man, I could sleep all day long in this bed. We're a firefighter? Oh, but I'm way too hungry. Okay, this is probably... 
This is probably good enough to... It'll, it'll cycle. Alright. Alright, I am gonna go pee. Five minutes. Go brush your teeth.
That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Oh no, not a thug. Yeah, I know it was muted. I was I was uh, eating some chocolate and I thought you would like to listen to Sean talk while I was eating some chocolate. What was that demon blonde doll? That was kind of weird. Woo woo! This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Crime and train books. What kind of chocolate? I have a milky bar. Inherent Mice, a robo car police story. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Um. Is the mom invisible? I don't understand. Like, cause that's the grandparents with the dad, right? What What is this? Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Wait, did we get rid of the condoms? Oh no, there they are. Okay, cool. Found it in one of the bedrooms. I finally have time to read now. Canteen. Blanket. Sleeping bag. Okay. Stop the snowball in motion, plus heavy rock. Daniel getting worse. No fever yet, but no food left. Leaving tomorrow for uh, Bicoy Creek. Alright, we left more because there's no food. Okay. Well, we didn't we have three cans of ravioli left? Daniel went nuts. Scary. Needs to teach him control quick. Well, I guess we needed we needed food for the trip, too. So they were accounting for that. Alright, that makes sense. Burning cold. Had to carry Daniel over two, for over two miles. No one stopped and help us. What's wrong with these guys? Dan getting better. He's eating like a horse. Guess that's good. Been hanging out with CNS a lot. Pretty awkward after all these years. They're walking on eggshells not to talk about Seattle or Karen. There's a huge elephant following us everywhere. Rude. Oh, there's the elephant. Nice. That's pretty cute. Awkward. How did I just skip so far? Reynolds rules. Who the hell's... Discretion, don't leave the house. Disconnection, no phone, no internet. Daily chores, homework for Daniel, Lamayo. Good luck with that, Claire. Bored AF, grateful for being here, but need to get... Really? You be bored? Gotta think of what's next. Ain't no chill for the wicked. Like, within a week, you be bored? I feel like you would enjoy the normalcy for, for, for at least a week. Getting bored eventually, sure, but in a week? Oh, not even a week. Three days? Pretty badass. I'd be bored in two hours. Well, I'm not surprised, Sony bro. Considering the games that you like on your console. <laughs> Alright. I'm allowed to go out now. Man, I love water. <sighs> Man. I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. Thinking of you, Mushroom. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. If Joe reads your nick, it means it really fucking sucks. That's true, Row 653. 
Yep. Daniel knows how to milk Grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. Does he, though? Sean! Finally! Wait, we're- we're- Sean, are you awake? We're adjacent to the train room? Done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Alright. Gotta admit, Choo -choo. that's pretty oh, fucking careful, cool. Careful, Chief. I like bullshit fast. like this. We have to. We're late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> I'm secretly hoping that the boys are gonna get into tabletop stuff uh, when they get older, and uh, if we ever care. get a bigger house, that so we could have like a, a tabletop place. From the last time I came here, like a tabletop room, that could be fun. Oh, look at that. They didn't just put water down. It's actually, like, paint pretending to be water. Better That's hit the nice. kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Hey, Steven. <sighs> What's up? Ah, All right. No talk with you. Here. Okay. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Oh, no. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. I'm glad they get along so big. So well. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. <laughs> I won't. Okay, so they're not going to be upset about the cougar. Bedroom. Come on. The chief has to get this Wait, can we just we're, we can just wander? Better not sneak in. Y they won't like it. Yeah, what are you doing? It's been locked ever since we got here. And I kind of don't give a fuck. Looks sealed, too. What's that? <sighs> fuck. I broke this thing, like, so ten years ago. <sighs> I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. I used to hate brushing my teeth. <laughs> Just like Daniel. What? Now I can't get enough toothpaste. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Hell yeah. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Hmm. Uh-oh. Is there a hand? Okay, good. Alright, they're being really nice. So, what's going on here? If they were going to sell us out, they would have done it already. So, I hope it's not something stupid like... Oh, like, you're not obeying the rules, get the hell out. Or, like, we found your weed pipe or something, and, like... And that's the only reason he kept it, was so that, that this narrative could fuck up here, like... Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. You don't think that's for help, get, like easing up and down. No, you think that's like, oh no, here comes the big one. I need the support bar. Grip. Here comes the big <laughs> It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Man, quite the change from the <laughs> last one. So good. Whoa, what the hell? I'm starving. All right. I didn't look at both of those things. Man, Claire's food smells so good. I'm starving. Oh, they got the little bars under the under the carpet to keep it on on the stairs. 
Nice. All right. Oh, you have an aquarium? Oh yeah, hold on, chat. At, at what point does a fish tank become an aquarium, or is or is any fish tank also an aquarium? Is there a size requirement for for a fish tank be, to become an aquarium, or does it need does it need to have fish? Like if you have if you have a fish t if you have a water tank full of just like aquatic plants, is that still an aquarium? I don't know enough about this thing. Why am I getting question marks? I'm just asking. I'm a curious guy. If you have enough fish, toilets free. Oh. There are no fish in here. Squares or rectangles kind of thing. I disagree. I don't I don't I don't think squares are rectangles. I understand the classification, but I reject that classification and think that the distinction should stand. I think if you if you ever showed anyone a square and said, have a look at this rectangle, they have every right to think that you're an absolute lunatic. Absolute lunacy. Look at this rectangle. And you know I'm right. Honestly, base butt. I don't. I don't like oh that butt. My. Look who's awake. And I don't Good say that lightly. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. Oh, this is a nice kitchen. Damn. You can sit down, Sean. Oh, it has a range. Aren't you hungry? Or animals, human? Oh, we're we gonna have the animals debate again. There's an animal outside. Oh yeah, I open the door. Oh, it's your brother. <laughs> no. We stopped our training session since we got here, so... I thought he was doing Sucks. the blocks upstairs. Telling someone, look at the tiny human is lunacy, but they're still human? What? Woo! What does that mean? <laughs> Better hit the kitchen quick. All right. Claire's waiting for us. Join for breakfast. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the box car later. I love how they're getting along. You tell, look at the baby, not look at the tiny human. I think you could say, look at the tiny human for fun. That's that's something you could say. Well, I don't I don't understand this this what you're saying. I have no fucking clue where this is going. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I have no fucking idea how this relates to like squares and rectangles. I have never heard anyone in my whole entire life pick up a square and say, look at this rectangle. But I have heard people say, look at the little human. Like, oh, look at the little, like, look at the little, like, of course. Like, what? Need help? What's on the men? Need help? Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Yeah, that's gotcha. one of the rules. You're, oh, Grandpa X is gonna get kicked out choo instead. Choo. <laughs> Is a thumb a finger? No, it's an appendage. Ah, oh, sugar. Uh oh. Uh oh. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Oh, the handle came off.
A digit is it? Oh, a digit. Sorry, not not an enough? appendage. Everything's okay. Does it's appendage great. work too? As usual. You're the Probably best not. cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new cut. Is a fracture a break? Now it's a stream. Now it's a stream. I still stand by the fact that a hair. Okay. A, a big enough fracture can definitely be a break, all right? That was never my argument. My argument was that a a, a a small enough hairline fracture does not constitute a break of a bone. I I don't think so. I don't think so. No fucking way. It's just no. No, all fractured break, no, incorrect. No, no. Okay, need I remind you, need I remind you that chat was so pedantic about this that they said that even a tiny little sliver of something missing out of a cup or something would would mean that the cup is broken so you're telling me that every single time i wash my cup a couple of the molecules of the ceramic get fucking scraped off onto the sponge now my cup is fucking broken no there has to be a a large enough breakage of the thing in order for the thing to have been broken all right and i don't think a hairline fracture is enough to constitute a break. Now, if there was a, like, now, in, in my mind, and I could be wrong because I'm not a doctor, surprisingly, if a hair, I don't know if, if the length of a fracture is, is a part of the hairline fracture. Can you have a hairline fracture? I think it's the width, right? Can a hairline fracture be like, I don't know, like 10 inches long al along the bone? Is that, is that something that can happen? If that was the case, I would concede that a long enough hairline fracture could be considered a break, all right? But a very, very small, like we're, we're talking like like fractions of an inch of a, of a hairline fracture, I do not think constitutes a break of the bone. I think a who asked emote would be great for this channel. You're a mod. You're a mo country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool. <sighs> well, Got bless waffles? your soul. You'd get along. Good with our neighbors. We try to let. Never has broken. Uh, the subreddit never broken a bone has the answer. Oh, do they? Reddit has the answer. Okay, redditor. All right. Yeah. Let, let's let's go by what Reddit says when it comes to this shit. All right. Not broken. Not the fracture. Your bones. Your rules. Teeth don't count. What is this horse shit? The him, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and oh no, been hard on. Oh yeah, there's a game. Son, he would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I I think he's your age. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. If you break your penis when it's erect, does that count? I have some big news for you, Chatter. <laughs> I hope you're sitting down for this one. <laughs> There's no bone in your dick, my dude. No, what are you doing? Why? What the? Ooh, what? Oh, <laughs> I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. Penile fracture is actually a thing, even if there is no bone. Is is a is a penile fracture then? 
counts as breaking a bone. In that case, fracture is not a broken bone, right? Just a broken boner. I have heard of a, of a penile fracture, by the way, and, and they sound excruciating. Apparently, um... I'm gonna. I am about to name a sexual pos sexual position. All right. So if you do not want to hear a sexual position being named on the stream, this is your chance to uh, to uh, to mute the chat. Okay. Apparently, the sexual position reverse cowgirl is is extremely dangerous, and is usually only uh, uh, included in uh, gentlemen's movies. Um, for this reason, it is it is an unrealistic expectation to uh to have um and if you've ever if you ever watched one of those those uh those films before and you have noticed that as as the uh the act is being performed that the gentleman is like you know um supporting the bridge so to speak you know like uh holding up the dam you know like uh helping the beaver get the wood you know what i mean like uh because there is if, if that doesn't happen there is like a huge like like bend like almost like uh the difference between a corner of a square and a rectangle um th that is why and that's when it can actually just snap and it can be really really bad yeah um so why would you say that because i'm i'm being unexplicit i'm being implicit instead of explicit all right so if if you um if if any of the weebs among you uh, ever ever graduate to non weebs and you know with your milady you ever want to partake um no 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 anything but that <laughs> flash, flash forward <laughs> about to get it on she, she's she's sultry suggests something starts getting on top and he's like no <laughs> Also remember after you're done to run to the bathroom and pee. You have to remember that it's the only, it's the only way to uh, prevent a, uh, a a UTI. You gotta pee right away. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there, and besides, it's not safe for you to explore. Okay. But we'll be fine. Joe, are you speaking from experience? Absolutely not. I just know from from like sex education and and partaking of the Reddit. Uh, th my middle name has never had a UTI. Joseph never had a UTI. <laughs> Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Prompt. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Joe's sex tips? Oh man. Karen's room. Then it could be a stream. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs to know, does he? Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. His mother isn't in there anymore. If only R2 doesn't work, is the controller broken? Yes, absolutely, because that is a, a core part of the functionality of, of, the, uh, of the controller. If you have a fracture that is preventing you from being able to use whatever part of your body that the fracture is on, I would be very much convinced that that constitutes a break. But if you have a hairline fracture and you don't even, you don't even know about it and you can just go about your day, you know, a tiny little fracture, then I don't think that counts as a break. So Thank you so much for giving me all these distractions, okay? by the way, chat. The game sucks. Are you serious? <laughs> mom contacted you? Oh, she's alive, okay. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. And oh. Sean. I don't really want to talk about oh, okay. this anymore. Okay, is the mom dead or not? It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof. Yeah, your rules, your roof. Okay. Yep. Okay. So what does that mean? Of course, chill out. Of course, of course. Of course. 
Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Uh-oh. Now you better go find your brother. Yeah, we're definitely getting kicked out because of something stupid. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanny will freak. Thank you. What's your favorite type of gentleman movies? Um, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen was, was, wasn't bad. You know, kind of cheesy, but it was pretty good. Yeah. Sean Connery's in it? Pretty different from the one we had back at home. Housework, vacuum, fold towels, fix drawer. Sean and Daniel, tidy room, put clothes in washing machine, hug grandparents, aw, Claire, everything else. What's that movie with, um, did that have gentlemen in the title? What's the movie with, uh, Colin Firth in it? And, uh, I, I don't even know the actor's name now. And, like, they're, they're, like, I better catch up with they have an umbrella with a gun in it. God damn it. Um, Daniel's going nuts in Kingsman, here. yeah. That's, that's pretty much, th Kingsman is close to a gentleman. Mm. Claire could totally be on one of those cooking shows. Coconut flan. <sighs> she would be brutal. Ew. You belong in the cupboard. All right. Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. Joe, are you gentle? Not at all. F I'm frantically thinking of a punchline to follow that up, and I'm coming up short. <laughs> mm. Oh man, nice pantry. Mm. Done. See you tonight, buddy. Wait, what? This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other Wait, night. Wait, if we clean up enough, can we can we stay here for like longer and roll credits? Because if that's the case, we need to definitely do that. Claire can draw pretty damn good. Oh, Claire can draw too? Guess that it runs in the family. Really surprises me, actually. What do you mean, keep? Keep? We're gonna just gonna steal her paper? You're right, you did clean up that cereal box and the board game on the table. But you stole my picture, so get the hell out of here. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Also, Daniel broke my train. Yeah. Oh, you have an office. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Claire, we heard some songs. Well, <laughs> She's got the groove. And he's terribly shy. Oh, this looks cool. Gee. Too bad it's broken. Oh, I like ships in a bottle. Sean, quick! Look at this fish! Do you have any fun anecdote about buying a gentleman movie in the gentleman movie store? How old do you think I am? Alright? I'm I'm 37, not 57. There's no fish. All right, where's this glue? Whoa! Careful. Uh oh. Sorry, I I forgot. You forgot that about the, the, too stable. the secret door just... underneath. Uh, okay. Sorry. Where you My guys fault. keep your kidnapped your kids? Keeps that answer the phone like they're Darth Vader. I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to uh -oh. talk for a second. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. 
Okay, what do you want to rap about? So, listen, I've uh, noticed things. 37, that you must have been born in the, in the 1970s. So, what? 1970s? Yeah, you, 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 am I being trolled or is this Zoomer math? Like, what? With Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The condoms? Tell the truth. Okay, wait, what? Uh, no. Yeah, he, he has psychic powers. Haha, <laughs> good joke. No, what I really mean is... Yeah. I do. But... Uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well... You know more than me. Wait, what? Uh, Wait. Not really. What? It started in Seattle. D there's no way. After... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but... That's how it is now. And we have to live with it. Damn. What are we talking about, Steven? I... I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor. Or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. Oh. He needs you. Uh, okay. More than anything else. Uh, and by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel. And just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say... They're not talking about the same thing? I think they really are. But I didn't think they were going to, but now I think they are. Yes. Maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Puerto Lopos. We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run. <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. Schlop, 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 and for you schlop, guys schlop. too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids different now you don't know him why why is there the needlessly aggressive option why is this even a thing i would pick a, i would pick like a hilarious option if it was here but like this is just like being a dick for no reason of course not but everything's different now i know because he's 16? Yeah, but he's 16 on the run. Like, the context matters here a lot. Like, 16 on the run after everything that's happened to him, and he finally has, like, a one place. Like, he, like they were in the woods for, like, a month, man. Like, that's, that's tough. That's really tough. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. I was super polite hey, at 16. Uh, I was polite at 16 as I am now. Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. You cuss all the time? Fuck you! Swearing Thanks. doesn't mean that you're rude. What kind of bullshit's that? It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here. Wow. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Hey, that wasn't rude. That was an appropriate uh, response. Appro appropriate displays of, of like, hey, you're being a shitter right now. That's not rude. That's just being fair. That's just healthy expression of anger. How come you have a disco ball? Are you like throwing parties and stuff? Hell yeah. No, this is a, a souvenir. I'll oh, tape it to your I backpack. I met your grandma during a disco night. 
Believe it or not. For real? For real? That's so cool. She was such a good dancer. Yeah, we good drawing. And I, I knew I was going to marry that woman. Aww. By the way, I have no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds so very cute. Do the hustle? Do the hustle. I'd show what it is if only these hips allowed me to. These hips do lie down on the bed because they're barking. Who the fuck is that? Oh, God. You found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's Claire okay. in her younger days? It's been a while since I've... Rachel Amber. Face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know. I can't approve what she's done, but I. I, uh, I what does she I do? Understand. Good. She's a serial killer. I don't. She married no, to Mark Jefferson? No, I'm sorry, Sean. Please don't. Please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Wait, what? Don't you're not, worry. You're not allowed to have a photo of your daughter. What? What? What did she do? Not say say a prayer before dinner one night? Stephen sure takes his hobby. Yeah. Uh, well, God, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. And your subreddits. But trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Wow. <sighs> Man. Who did this? Oh, he was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> Dude, why are you hunched forward like that? Your back's gonna be killing you when you stand up. Tuck yourself in. What are you doing? Oh, well, see you later, Grandpa. Okay, looks good. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so much. I can't criticize the Feel grandfather, free to though. to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. It's Definitely. True. It's true. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Why is it don't safety? Don't worry, Claire. I don't get it. So hey, we're Daniel. not found? Like, There's work for you. Uh, no. This is so boring. I kind of feel like this. Yeah. it's really picked this up since ass. we started shit talking with chat. Come I don't over know. here. I'm feeling better about <laughs> it. Jeez, I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Jeez. Jeez. All right, let's do the laundry. Huh? This is not, this is not laundry. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. If you do laundry, please follow these simple rules. Do not, is, wasn't there like an M. Night Shyamalan video, uh, video, a movie like this? Do not mix whites with colors and colors ever. Use one cup of detergent, red box for each load. If you wash my clothes, use the delicate cycle so you don't ruin any more of my clothes. Love, wife. Okay. Okay, where, where are the clothes? Are these the clothes? She said run the washer, right? Who the hell irons their clothes? Seriously, who has time? All right, well, I get that he's sick of all this shit. I don't need to search. I can see, but we're still gonna do it. Gotcha. All right. Hmm. Okay. So, are we going upstairs to get the clothes?
<gasps> oh, how did you do that? Under the bed for sure. We won't get Claire and Steven into trouble. Behind you! Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. How does that... Seriously. How is that a consequence? Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Later on, does he have to yeah, hide from someone? And, you know, from Never his experience mind, okay. of winning this game, he's really confident cool. at it. I'm great at hide and seek. Thanks, Sean. Alright. I know, I know. Boring rules. Right. Alright. Let's get it over with. What, what, what the hell is this? Okay. Medicine? They have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. I don't have to take anything yet. I'm happy about that. <gasps> Alright. Time to take care of that. Hey man. Can you... Fix this frame up there? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I didn't Let's think this see. through. Abort. Abort. No. Perfect. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. That thing was killing me. Can we, can we separate? As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Okay, so there are, there are clearly some, some, some whites in there. Let's separate them. How do we do that? I have read the rules. I want to abide by the rules. Will it let me after I put it in the wash? Better be careful with it. All right, I'm being careful. It's expensive. What? How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. Daniel, we need to leave. Daniel. Daniel, we need to leave. We have to go right now. Let's go. Boring laundry. Get your shit. Done. Time for f What the hell are you doing? You know what, dude? We're not supposed to be here. Who was it? I don't know. Uh, some kid? It was just a prank, Sean. I know. Just... Be careful, okay? Don't worry. What, what happened? Was that the phone call? I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Hey, Daniel. Are you old enough that teenagers start to behave when you enter the room? I can't remember the last time I interacted with a teenager. But probably, I guess, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I look I look younger. Well, do I? I have the beard now, and that ages me. I don't know. Can you show me the fish? Yeah, Easy. Show me the fish. Just watch. See? Hello, little guy. Whoa. Whoa. They He's keep, beautiful. They keep a fish. Alright. When's the cougar gonna come and eat you? <laughs> I 
Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Hey, do you think you can fix that? Gee, that's pretty small. Let me try. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Hey. I did it. Hey. Check Hank. out the sail. All right, nice one. So this was mom's ship. I don't know, man. I guess. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. Whoa! What do you mean little paintings? All right, let's relax and draw. I want to be in your drawing. What are we planning to do with no superpowers genius idea? Does? Yeah, it'd be more fun if you could do this stuff, right? Wow, our superpower. Time to take the pen, dude. I'm not moving. <laughs> Hope I look good. Moving. Hope I look good. Okay. Are we are we done? Nope. Okay. Can't do anything without looking up first. All right. I'm looking up. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Did it bug? I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Hold it. I did. All right, I'm leaving. Okay. Back door, Time you to say. Time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> yes. If his telekinesis doesn't use calories, does that mean he's a perpetual motion machine? <gasps> He is, oh, right? Finally. He I'm creates so energy. Where's his tornado? Right? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Watch out for the pack. <laughs> okay. Where, where's the okay? There's the treehouse. Daniel seems so happy to be here. Good. Damn, I'm surprised we're back here so soon. I thought it would be later into the game that this happened. So that's the treehouse Stephen helped out with. Pretty awesome. Draw B. I already did that this stream chatter. You missed it. This place is actually kind of nice. Hold on, I'll draw him again. Wonder what it's like in the summer. There you go. I drew B. Koi. Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! Yeah, he would have been fine. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! 
Oh no no! Oh ho ho! Ho no! Oh sh! <laughs> Did you see that? I don't get it. Well, the kid thinks he can fly now. <laughs> oh sh! We did see- see what? Um, see what? <laughs> we just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. I just fell down. Okay, maybe he's fine. No. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. <laughs> That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, power Bear. bear. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I have the Mega Power Bear. He's just you a, should check it out. He's just a bear, so though. So cool. I've got the Chibi Power Bear, the talking one. Yeah, no, it was no relevant. No one can just it. This is an amazing tagline. <laughs> Chris, oh god, look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay, oh, Dad? It's I'm okay, fine. McReady. I promise. Are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Who the hell are you? Do you know them? It, it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes. Even Power Bear. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Our, our grandparents. Just passing by, I, I, they're, yeah, our, our grandparents. Oh, uh, yeah, they're our grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris, you don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Is there a reward for us? Because if there Let's is, you inside. I, uh, Chris is going to get another yeah. console. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks... Tell her everything is fine. Sure. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Is it? Really? Uh, never mind. <laughs> see you around. <laughs> sure. I don't see wolves, so it's fine. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, La later. we will. Daniel. Later that Did night, you forget he, everything he about the jumped off already? the roof. Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? Remind the rules. Concede. How high up was the kid? He would have been fine, right? These these are these are dumb. I thought it was like, hey, last resort or whatever. No, you... You did the right thing. But listen. We can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same as that thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel. Kid is kind of taking his powers... All in stride, huh? I guess it runs in the series. Max is like, ah, I guess I can rewind time. Oh, whatever. All right. Remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? All right, that did not go where I thought it was going to. All right, so just a link back to Captain Spirit. What what was that for then? All right, the next morning. Uh oh. oh fuck, that kid never listens.
<sighs> what the hell, Daniel? The first fucking rule. What was that kid running away from? And did his father see something? No. Definitely didn't see anything. It was a while before the father came over. Luke. I should get... Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Alright, are we gonna be in shit now for for not uh, doing laundry right? Because we definitely should be. God, is this is this the whole episode? It's just like we at the cabin now here, and then something else that's gonna happen after this. This is it. Dear God. Claire? Matt? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Ha ha ha. That's the name of the game. I sure do love brushing my oh, teeth. Right. Sunday morning. Claire and Steven must be at church. Okay, when are we going into the mother's room? Is something bad gonna happen to Claire and Steven and then we go in before we leave? Or are we gonna sneak in there before they get back from church and then they're gonna Dude, get mad? Or... Ass. Who knows what Daniel's doing over there? Note. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Morning, sleepyheads. We let you sleep in today while we're at church. Back by noon for lunch. See you in a bit. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. The Christmas tree is perfect. Good job, kids. P.S.S. Thank you for tidying up a bit. Oh, Maybe we... I could use Steven's laptop? Nah, he's gonna know. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. He won't know how to check browser history. But does Sean know how to delete browser history is the question. Uh, it would extend the playtime, and we're not going to get anything useful out of it because it's an option. Why are you still playing this? Anything to delay the Witcher 3 video, my dude. Anything. Well, call- <laughs> just, just call Lila! Oh, what the hell is this shit? We had a good time decorating the tree together last night. Daniel loved it. The poor decisions you can make. Oh man, that's a sweet food processor. Wait, we're just gonna leave the house? Okay. Let's get this Brack back home now. Daniel! Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Damn, I really didn't think that they lived directly next door. Um, what, what, what is what is this? At the end of Captain Spirit, when Claire visited. <sighs> Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. And just enter. What? You just you just you just going What's in. What's going on here? Sean, wait! Don't freak out. I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. Oh, this is a yikes for me, Daniel. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects. With my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. 
I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf. Okay, can we go? What's your super name, Sean? Super fed up with your bullshit. Don't need one. Silver Runner. El Diaz Blow Lo Okay, that's amazing. I don't know. <laughs> Something cool like El Diaz Blow Loco. <laughs> mm, sounds like a super villain's name. But okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. <laughs> what, you're in on this? You're home? <laughs> what the? G greetings, fellow super team members. All right, here we go. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. Is that a Karen shirt on? They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to oh, fly. You, you still haven't yes, gotten the Christmas yes, tree yes. for your the, kid? The team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. No. There's nothing going on over here. We need to go home. Yes! No. Can't wait to no. see all the decorations. No, Sean, no, no. We could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. With what money? Sure, they'll they'll worry. Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. Why do you always have to be a party pooper? It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. How anyway, are you encouraging this for at least another hour? How do you know that? What what what, what, what is this? Audition for 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 drug dealing? What the hell? Yeah, Sean, I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes, please. No. Please. No. Please. No. <sighs> no. Okay. Okay, it's not a choice. Great. What an amazing not game. A fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah. See, yeah. Now I can walk dangerous. you into the police station easily. Okay, team. Uh, give me a time out to clean up the. Ba the evil man in the first one used used violence. I use honeyed words. Back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh. Uh. Can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! Right. The new hot dog man? There's Since no... you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. I don't care. Hmm, okay. No, Insectoid's a villain. Apparently I do care. Dino. Oh, th that's a villain. Okay, they're... Okay, the pirate must be a, a hero then. Warrior's a hero. Dino? Dino's a villain. Alright, there we go. I'm done. Look closely. Okay. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. Please don't. This is Team Spirit. The good guy. The dinosaur is a good guy? That's the only one I got wrong? God damn it, man. There's the forest warrior. Uh-huh. Power bear. <laughs> He's just a bear. More T-Rex and Sky Pirate. So... Who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. 
There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But oh, they're no. all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So who's Mantroid? Where is he? Yeah, Hiding where is he? out on his evil planet. What planet's that? Waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah. Strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah. About that. Your father knows? Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell. Uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. The vocal fry on this kid. Cool treehouse. All cool with him? Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. True. We're cool. Totally. Yeah, He's totally. just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. I understand. Well... I can understand that. Why Why is this conversation happening? You know. Just because he was the prologue character? Thanks, Sean. God damn. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. Uh huh. And I have Daniel. Uh huh. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you dropped the shit at your friend's house? What do you mean? You don't drop you don't drop a shit at your friend's house. You you hold it in for thirty six hours like a normal person. What the hell is this? You and you tell him you're bored and have to go home, but the real reason you have to go home is because you just really need to take a shit. Like no one shits at their friend's house. What the hell? Okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Joey, don't say this. I, w I wouldn't even drop a shit at, at like, my in-law's house if that was still a possible visit thing, you know, from, from Moncton. Like, honest to God, if, uh, if I need the poop and I was at my in-law's house, I'm, unless it's an emergency, I'm waiting till I get home. What? Why would I just? Why would I do that to myself and everybody? What? What do you like? What? <laughs> I refuse to shit on any public toilet. Yeah, exactly. Unless, unless it's like, all right, like, I, I really, really, really desperately need to go. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna get home. You know, like, like, what the hell? Are your shits that bad? No, it's got nothing to do with that. It, it just... I, I don't feel safe. <laughs> I want to be home. <laughs> I don't know. There's... Okay, I, I'm not going to lie. There, There is a possibility... You don't know the strength of the bomb until it's been detonated, all right? Like, there's, there's also that. Like, like who knows, right? What if the toilet backs up, like, and it's like, oh, no, now it's the scene from, like, Dumb and Dumber or whatever. Like, what if there's no toilet paper? What if it's only one ply? Like, you don't know. Like, just un unless you have no other option, you wait till you get home to poop. Thanks for clearing the snow from the courtesy. I am I am a, a staunch supporter of the courtesy flush. Yes, yes. However, if if the host 
currently has their ear pressed up against the, the, the bathroom door as hosts are wont to do to listen to you like as you're going to the bathroom, they might hear the courtesy flush and then they might hear another flush after that and be like, okay, something fuck is going up going on in there. Right? As they do, yeah, yeah. That's why when when you're at when you're at a, someone else's house and uh, and and you're peeing standing up, like you pee, you don't pee into the water, you pee to the side. You you always do a stealth pee when you're when you're at someone else's house. You never pee directly into the water bowl. You always pee to the to the side, so it's like it's 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 a quiet pee. Whenever you're at someone else's house, when you're at home, let it roar. People in chat know what I'm talking about, yeah. Porch. You're you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. You need plausible deniability that you went to the bathroom just to wash your hands or something, that you didn't you didn't actually like use the facilities. I just wanted to see what your toilet sounded like when it flushed or whatever, you know, like You pee in the water to impress your girl, obviously. Yeah, yeah, when when you're like yeah, in that situation for sure. But, you know, you're in uh, any other situation, your host and or in-laws don't need to know what you're packing, okay? Joe, are homeless people allowed to poop? Honestly, no. Whoa, this is a lot more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. What are those? Are some very clear footsteps. It's just, look, there are rules when you go to someone else's house. If you go to someone else's house and they offer you food, if they are not also eating or like like gonna have a snack with you, you say no. You can accept a drink. Drink is fine. But like like the highest you can go is coffee. But like if they are currently already eating and they are like offering to get you some food and interrupt their meal, then you say no, I just ate. All right, and you just make it. You make it fine. How is this psychopath? How is this psycho shit? There are so many unwritten rules whenever you go to someone's house about being a good guest, just like there are so many unwritten rules about being a good host. If it, okay, if it's a snack or it's just like, hey, I'm gonna be able to like just put some chips in a bowl. Here you go. Even though I don't really like chips all that much. All right, that takes like five seconds. That's fine. But it's like, hey, want me to make you a pizza or something? Like, like no, you like if they're not eating, no, no, thank you. I don't need to eat. I'll eat when I get home. Where did you hear about these? Like you just you just collect them, growing up. What's your opinion on guests pay their own meal if you order out? Oh, that that's insane. All right, no, no, no. Like if you if you have a guest over and you're ordering in, then you you for sure have to include them. However, it is the responsibility for as the host to provide information about what you are getting, and then as the guest, you have to ask for something that is you know, like it cannot be more than than what the the host is getting and ideally you're just getting like a piece of chicken from the bucket or like a slice of pizza but if it's like a whole ass meal like they're ordering mcdonald's or whatever then you need to be like ideally within like 10 20 percent lower than what the host is getting like you can't like oh get whatever you want oh okay i'll have five mcdoubles please plus like a side of 10 piece nuggets you know and a milkshake like no like you have to make sure that you are below what the host is getting for themselves you know you have to always have to have to judge this is insane. I'm not surprised that you think so, Sony bro, but like there are a lot of like rules when it comes to social interactions. Same goes if you're at a restaurant. If you go out to the restaurant and the, uh, the other person is treating you, they order first and you have to like judge what they are ordering and you go a little bit below what they are, right? And if you're if you're treating someone to something and like and you have to order before they do cuz you need to provide that information. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? So you go over to a restaurant and you, and they're like, oh yes, please, I'll have a Caesar salad, and it's like it's like fifteen dollars, and you're like, yeah, I'll have the fucking surf and turf forty five dollar fucking T bone with a lobster tail, fucking roasted potatoes with with a with a fucking Sunday afterward. Like you're you're an asshole, YTA, YTA. Like what the hell? You're gonna have a Reddit post written about you. 
you always have to like judge what the other part like what what you are buying off the other person from the host. You have to, or else you're insane. If you if you've done this to someone, they're annoyed at you. They they shit talk you to their spouse. Just like oh, and now we're on to spouses. If you ever tell something to someone, they are gonna tell their spouse. Like if you know someone and they're in a relationship with a spouse, if you tell anyone anything, their spouse knows too. Like whenever you tell a married person something, you are telling two people. So if you're not if you're not you know fine with two people knowing something, then don't tell the married person. <laughs> so if you rip someone off when they were treating you to like like a quick a quick burger stint and you fucking got like. A bucket of fried chicken that cost twenty-five dollars because you decided that you're gonna use this treat to to give yourself lunch and dinner and maybe breakfast for the next day. Like they went home and shit talked you to their you to their wife or husband. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey. You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Yeah. What the hell are you doing, Daniel? Okay. Sure. I don't. I don't think don't get lost. Claire and Steven are gonna be happy that we just Dude, got on this guy with pickup trucker X here. Like, I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he. Could. This is Larry David's here of nitpicking cuss. This. This is not. Okay. Like, I'm being dead serious. No memes. No irony. This is. This is not nitpicking customs. Or are you talking about chat nitpicking me? Like, this is, like, real, real, basic-ass social interaction. Like, I'm not kidding. This is, like, like, mm, like really, I almost said mid again. This is, like, normal-ass shit, man. Okay, maybe not taking a poop at your friend's house. <laughs> like, if you want to go, alright, you go. <laughs> I guess. Alright, maybe I'm a little weird for that one, but, like... <laughs> When it comes to, like, food and shit, like... <laughs> he reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. You never had friends to begin with. Stop lying to Chris. Protect the secret. Okay, why can't we do both? Okay. Stop lying to Chris. Oh, God. Neither of these are good. Stop lying to Chris. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends. My friends can use my toilet whenever they want. Look, 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 it's not it's not up to you though. It's not up to you. Because let's let's say this is another social convention that, that you're gonna break. Your friend comes to your house and it's like, hey, you give them a little bit of a tour. Here here's the kitchen, here's here's the hallway, and they're like, Yeah, I know. And then you like and then you turn to them and be like, by the way, if while you're here you need to take you need to take a shit feel free now your friend is going to look at you and be like all right so this guy has a weird i like when people when other people take a shit in my toilet fetish no way i'm pooping here and now you've sabotaged the courtesy that you wanted to extend so like you you can't just tell people welcome to my bathroom you're welcome to take a shit here you know you, you can't bring it up all right it's so it's just up to the guest if they are like willing to to use the toilet while they're there so it's just like you just have to hope that that you are giving off a, a welcoming vibe that you would be fine with it it's implied that they could be, exactly exactly you don't you don't need to exply it all right i would say that the 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 more comfortable the, the uh the, <laughs> the better quality toilet paper you have the better chance you have of making your friend feel welcome about something like this he could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly or you also need to have a pl the plunger has to be in view so if you keep your plunger like in a little like side area or under like if you have a cabinet under the sink and like you you keep that for you if you have a friend over you have to take the plunger out and have it like here here's where the plunger is in case you need it and also you slide some some extra rolls of toilet paper on on like the handle of the plunger so you just know everything that's yeah it is true that is true of course it is also you should have a little garbage can in your bathroom absolutely you could get hurt so you want me to tell him the truth well 
I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything, but don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I swear. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Your thoughts on a bidet? I've never used one, yeah, but I would if go. I if I had one or if one was available. I... Well, I'm not going to use a friend's bidet. All right, we all agree on that, right? If you're at a friend's house and you had, you know, an emergency situation, it was like a category five, you know, hurricane and you're like, all right, I, I can't wait till I get home. Right. And and then you're like, all right, I'm going. And they have a bidet. You're not going to be like, you know what? I'm feeling fancy. I'm going to treat myself. Here I go. Like, you're not, we all agree on that. Right. We're not going to like, okay. If you're an experienced seasoned bidet user, why, what we mean, why not? If you're, if you, like, you know, if you, if you're at rank 10 confidant with, with bidets, maybe you can pull it off, alright? But, lord of the bidet, <laughs> like, like, maybe, I don't know. But if not, alright, are bidets completely supplemental? Like, if you, if you went over to your friend's house and they were, like, like, one of the biggest bidet enjoyers of all time, would they even have toilet paper in, in the bathroom? Is it like a complete replacement? So is it there a chance when you go in that you might like you might not have a choice? No, you still need to dry still do you? Okay. I've never I never used a but I never used a bidet. I've never used a bidet. I don't I don't know I don't know how that goes. It sounds like a good time. I'm I'm curious. I'm 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 bidet curious. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> this game's so boring, man. <laughs> wow, so many trees. Ugh, they look like giant cocoons. Yep. Creepy. Chrysalis. Dad pushed every Dad year to get a plastic like tree, <laughs> but we never surrendered. I once went to my cousin's house and my my cousin's parents said to me when I was there and they said, listen, this is a, uh, I think I was like, I think I was like 12 or 13 or something like that. And they said to me, maybe I was 11. I was around that age. And they said to me, listen, listen, uh, this is, this is a help yourself house. Okay. I'm like, all right. So that means if you, if you want a drink or a snack or something, you just go get it yourself. It's a help yourself house. All right. Don't feel bad. If you want something, you go get it. All right. I didn't eat or drink anything the whole entire weekend. <laughs> just, just, did not consume anything <laughs> unless it was like a structured meal <laughs> that we all set down. Yeah, I should put you in. <laughs> you coming, Sean? Don't not worry. today. You're not gonna I'll get be me. around. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? I don't went. Worry. I went home looking I'll like like the close up of SpongeBob SquarePants. I don't need it. Like my <laughs> my mom gave me chapstick when I walked uh, through the door. Nothing. I'll tell you later. But I didn't need so, to poop, so it was you? fine. So yeah, it was good. Okay, what's the objective? Find a Dan, Dan, find Daniel a Christmas awesome. present. All right. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just. Deal. Never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah. Jason. Fake we'll snowman. That's terrifying. <laughs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Okay. Dear Santa. Would you seriously rather return to a party with shit in your ass crack than use a stranger's bidet? Uh, whoa, 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 okay, hold on. So, l let's paint a picture here. With paint. So, the situation is, I have, I have, 
I really needed to use the bathroom. I couldn't wait till I go home. I go into the bathroom. They don't have any toilet paper because they're a, a big time bidet enjoyer, and the bidet is the only thing in 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 the room. Okay, I would probably risk it. However, seeing as I have never used a bidet before, like I I don't know how that would go. Like so, if that happens, like and I if I if I realize the situation, I might have just left. I might have just just, just like you know just. George Costanza, Costanza's are just right out of the door and just went home. Like, but if I'm already committed to that situation and I and I've only realized that it's fine. But I don't know how to use it, Anu. What if I make it worse? What if I like I crank it up to eleven and don't even realize that I've put it on like fucking expert mode? Fucking Dante must die on the fucking bidet pressure, and I turn it on before I sit down properly, and now it's it, it like it hits me, but it it like it it's like a fucking clip. It comes out like you holding your fucking. Th thumb on the fucking faucet when uh, at, at your fucking kitchen sink and it clips me and now I have like shit fucking filled water that sprays all over the fucking wall and it looks like I didn't even get to the toilet in time like I don't know I don't know how they work if they're really gentle and they're like okay even an idiot could use it then all right I'm gonna do it all right I'm gonna do it but like there's there's I've never used one before I don't know how hard it is Maybe it's just gonna make everything worse. We've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Sure. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Is that a yo-yo? Start with a handheld home. bidet and work your way up. Betty loved this. Steal? I'm not gonna steal anything. It's okay, I brought my bidet from home. Whoa. Kind of <laughs> you cowgirl the bidet. <laughs> the pain of that. You must have been seriously high. Okay, is it gonna work this time? Time to take the pen, dude. That's the same line he said last time. Oh, it worked! Nice. Okay, got it. This is so interactive. My name is Joseph Anderson, and they scare me more than videos. Where, where's this? Where's the slander come from? They don't scare me. I've just never used one. I, I said I would use it. I would. I would like to try one. I've just never used one before. Maybe I can't figure it out. Chat, I'm the same guy that went, remember, I went to fucking Best Buy after we moved to Moncton, and like, I got an over-the-range fucking microwave, and the guy was like, this is over-the-range, you know that, right? And I was like, oh, that just might, must mean it's a really good microwave. And I brought it home, and opened it, and went, oh, fuck. This doesn't go on the counter. And, and then it just, it just sat there for like, fucking like two months until we got someone in to install it, alright? Over the range, oh that's a great, that, that, that's a fucking, that just means, yeah, this, this, this bad boy's over the range, such a great fucking microwave. Like, you, you don't, like, I don't know, I, I don't know, like, I might, like, what if I go on and it's like, pointed the wrong direction, I don't realize. But I'm not scared of it. This is nice. Alright, let's just, okay, I'm on my phone. How to use a bidet tutorial. All right. Oh God, she's squatting over it. What? The, it looks like a little sink. Oh, this is way harder than I thought. What the fuck? I thought, I thought it was like, I thought they were like a basin and like the faucet was like, like, like in it. It looks like a little sink. What the fuck is this shit? Can you imagine me, like, in my friend's bathroom, like, with my phone, like, like, taking a picture of the bidet so I get the right model for the right tutorial? R wrong one? Yeah, this, this, this is complicated, man. 
God, this one's it's as big as the toilet. Why don't they just combine them? Oh, some of them do. Oh. Oh, she's really happy about using this bidet. Holy crap. Oh, this one has in this picture the bidet is like across on the opposite wall of the toilet. So like like as someone else is using the toilet, the other person can use the bidet. This is a really big time saver. Tushy Spa installation tutorial. All right. Wow, they're a lot bigger than I thought. All right, here's one. In this one, the, the 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 water comes like from the basin inside. That's what I thought it was. The other one was like weird. It was like it was just like a normal ass sink. Oh, there's another one that's like a normal ass sink. It just looks like a like a flattened urinal. Yeah, this is complicated. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. How is it complicated? It's just a bidet? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, bidet enjoyer. Some of us have not partaken. Cool. I feel like fucking Sil like Sylvester draw. Stallone not knowing how to use the fucking three clams right now. Pretty good sketch. What are you drawing? Whoa, it's so cool. Are you like a professional? Imagine never seeing <laughs> no. a bidet in your life. I genuinely have never seen a bidet. Never, like, in person. You know that's that, that Lord song, I've never seen a diamond in the flesh? I've never seen a, seen a bidet in the porcelain. Like, never. I've seen it in, like, media. And I just saw, like, a thousand of them right now on my phone. But I've, I've never seen one in person. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books. The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for a Hollywood name. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, I've only seen, seen the scene in Cars. Too. Why do the cars need a bidet? What? You're drawing. Funny? Funny. Like what? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Big question. Zombies or UFO? UFO. Mm, what about a giant spaceship flying over Beaver Creek? You've never seen the Cars 2, but I haven't seen Cars 1 or 2. I've never seen the Cars movies. I know about them. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Really missing out, man? I don't think so. They I peaked with I Incredibles draw, like, and Finding Nemo. Day. I'm sure you will, man. Did you see that Ludwig has a bidet company? Like, in Bloodborne? I like the sword. I don't know if... Is it a trick bidet? Is it got like two settings? Can the faucet be in the basin and on top if you want? Like, too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog and beast. Chloe, <laughs> she looks so out of place here. We'll eat for cool. food. Okay, I don't have any... I don't, do we have money? Okay, let's make sure we can buy a present for Daniel first before we, we give money. Hey, I'd like a gift. What would Daniel like? We only oh, said he likes the bears, but we don't have enough money. Local products. Come take a look. Food. What? Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. Spice cider. Okay, he likes he likes the bear. Pick one. Okay. We don't have Oh, it's a beaver, never mind. All right, let's go for the the sitting bear. Hi, I'd like to buy this, please. Hey, um Can I get one of these bears? Sure. Our best seller this year. Cool. 
Nice. Pay. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. You need to go to a special school to learn how to use a bidet. Cool. You get bachelor degree Mission after three years. Would that make me a liberal farts major? <laughs> before Claire and Steven come back. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. Decorate your front doors with Hope you're doing well. Special. Christmas wreaths. Oh, we could have got one of those. The best Christmas hmm. wreaths are here. The cool. best Decorate Christmas wreaths. With something truly special. Why couldn't I have bought the yo-yo instead of stealing it? Things seem kind of heavy between Charles and Chris. All right. But they're pretty cool. It's not much, but... She probably needs it more than me right now. All right, I think we're done. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Whoa. Sorry. I just, I just gave um, you a dollar. I'm just a grumpy old gal. All right. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. No way. Now we are. By the way, have you ever used a bidet? <laughs> no. No way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Oh, they're the train hoppers that we saw in the in the Captain Spirit. Wicked. Man. That sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but... Look. There's people in the world that wipe with water cans? What do you mean? Like... Like it's bidet in a can. Like you, like you, like, like. Okay, I'm done pooping. Like, all right, here I go. Like what? Or what do you mean? Yep, Anu. Okay, I'm not. I'm done. You've I'm been done. Lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Back to Life is Strange Next too. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, badass. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well... What do you think? Hmm. Yes. I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. I'm sorry, is this flirting? How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. I don't you like these people. Keep your distance, dude. Yeah. I agree. She looks never too careful. Hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of the air? 
<laughs> oh, the pros join forces. You're already perverting him, Finn. Oh, for fuck. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. <sighs> Are you kidding? Fuck. You want to talk no. about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. <sighs> Come on, let's bail. For anyone who is new to the stream, or perhaps this is your first stream, usually we don't have unhinged bidet rants and about, you know, toilet etiquette when you go to your friend's house. But also, I have four children, and the oldest one is named Finn. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. All right, I'm Hope sure. We I'm sure see we'll. You on the rails yeah, I'm sure yeah. we won't. We're never gonna see them again. See you around. Your doggy was so cute. I miss mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine. Okay. So, I feel like they're kind of framing this that this guy's an asshole, but no, they're assholes for not having their dog on a leash. Like, you have to have your dog on a leash. This is fucked up. You have to have the dog on a leash. Like, 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 he, like, like, this is, like, so dangerous. It's so dangerous for everyone else. It's dangerous for them. It's dangerous for the dog. Th this guy is absolutely, like, like, correct here. Like, so. Uh, you're gonna find our dog? Yep. Well, that's I not am. very nice. Yep. Loitering is illegal, too. Okay, now he's being you a prick. you don't live here, right? Now he's being a prick. Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. My dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? A little too far. Please. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> he's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, get out of here, Finn. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? Yeah. Now it's, now it's framed that, like that the guy came over and just did that because he didn't like them. And so he's like, I know what I'll do. I'll just go over and tell them that they should have their dog on a leash. Whereas in reality, it's just be like, look, get your dog on a leash. That's it. That's the only problem we have. Die. They did escalate it, though, a little bit after he came over and did that. So, I don't know. I can't blame him too much. We should kick his ass, Sean. What? Prank him? No, drop it. No, we're good. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Wish I could rewind and prank him. Behold, the giant condom machine. Nice. Ass biology. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Is it safe to put kids in the back of a pickup like that? Like, not strapped in or anything? Are you having too much fun back there? That's what I thought. It looks fun, don't get me wrong. I, I would like to sit in a pickup like that. But, you know, fun and safe don't always go together. Like, it'd be fun to, to use someone's bidet for the first time, but, you know, is it safe? In Germany, it's forbidden. Well, if Germany says so. Wait, wasn't he super drunk? This is the next day. But yeah, he's probably drunk, yeah. Joseph, for the love of everything, has got to beg you. There's, there's no, it's not like there's a bidet upstairs, Anu, and I've been like, I'm just not going to use it. It's not going to, I would use one if there was one there. 
a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's good. Fucking bio. There's n there's no room in the bathroom to install a bidet. There's no room. It's just it just I'm telling you. There's there's barely enough room in there to begin with. Just found a new friend out here. Installing one into the toilet might be a it thing looks though. Like you did too. It goes on the wall. You you overestimate the size of the bathroom. What's her name? Cassidy. Who? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah, that girl. We didn't get the dog's name, though. No. Just wanted money. She just wanted some money. Don't we all? You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, uh, it was tough on Chris. Two years? I thought it was just one year. Okay, two Shit. years. Oh. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Doing your best. You're doing your best. It says, I just met you, but yeah. Chris is awesome. Give you some platitudes. And... He's got a Call wonderful some Chris Redfield imagination. Now. Thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> He's a storyteller. Yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. <laughs> he gave me some tips. You two seem to get along well. <laughs> I, I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. So you're going to stay okay. with us now. Forget his brothers. You can't leave. No worries. My grandparents are worried. No worries. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. What? But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. My mom left. Claire is hard. They are nice. They're so nice, but... Oh. Yeah. Yep. They have their problems, All too. right. Uh, sorry. It smells like Fallout 4. Yeah, it's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Wait, uh, yeah, what? Wait, what? We should Wait, get what? you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah. Well, I'll get there before you with my dad on you. Uh-oh. 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 See you later, Super Wolf. Uh-oh. What are you doing? What are you do I swear to God. Okay. Hello? Why would you do that? Hello? Hey, we just went into town Claire? with the neighbor. Steven? All right. Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. And we left the door unlocked the whole well, time. At least they won't yell at us for going out. Yep. Let's go in Mom's room. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. Everyone here's an artist. How so? She drew comics. Whoa. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. And Chris Pratt. Thanks, dude. So cool. Hey. Uh. What? Want to check on Mom's what room? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Yep. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. 
Okay, you won't give up. They'll freak out. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. Okay, what time is it? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Alright. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. This is not a choice, is I it? I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. Okay. It is kind of messed up that they didn't let them in there, though. Okay, what time is it? Let's do this smart. The door's still locked. We'll find a way to open it. Or, I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, alright? Just unlock it with your mind. Like, just make like a psychic key. Quick. What the hell? Alright. See, there's not one in here. Wait. Unless. Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. Locked drawer. Oh, we need a key for the drawer to get the key, key to the room. room is inside. Yeah. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. True. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. <laughs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Eh, he's all right. Still super cute, though. It's a weird lamp. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But okay. let's open see what it opens. This. So we're gonna we're gonna unlock the door, but not get the key back in time. Oh, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or. Cute. That's gross about that. That's fine. But still, no key here. All right, put the key back then, please. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Put the key back. No. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Um. <laughs> One hell of a bedtime story. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Oh, it's in the sewing basket. Sharp objects. <laughs> Dark places. A bit like Claire. What? I saw Grandma coming out the room yesterday. Did you see where she put the key? No. <sighs> okay, she went Steven. in there and the kids... Where do you hide this key? ...weren't allowed? I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. Okay, what are we going to find in there? We clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. Yeah, not much to see in here. Shit, these are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Clothes, old stuff, <sighs> definitely no hidden key. Okay, well... What was Claire doing in that room? I've looked everywhere and I'm fresh out of options. Maybe she put the key in her pocket. <sighs> what was she wearing yesterday?
Okay, it's not in here, I guess. Okay, dirty laundry. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Oh, it's in the vase! Or some say vase. Yep. It's empty. God damn it. Really? Sean, what's taking so long? I can't find the key, Daniel. Then, let's just blow this stupid door. No. Okay, I really, I really don't know where the key is. Gotta find a way to open that door. Okay, it's not the downstairs. Because it. it won't let me go downstairs. So is it in their room? After the the hint about um, the clothes, I thought it would be in the laundry, but it's not. Check the laundry was I checked the laundry already. Hey, I think that's the co What? Cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Ground control to major tone. Wow. There's not that much left. Okay. Where do you think they put the rest of it? Is she gonna be like irrationally weird about this? Oh my god, how dare you go into that room? What the fuck? Like, even though she's your mother, like. She took everything. They threw it away. She took everything. <sighs> it's her teenage room. I'm sure she. Sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? Evidence. When we left. It's still there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I know. I wish I could answer that. Okay. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Decorative phone. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just... Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Dear Karen, thank you so much for your letter. I thought you might have f forgot... No one picked this up? You forgot your pen pal. It's so boring out here and your letters are the best thing ever. You were saying you get very lonely too sometimes up there in Beaver Creek, so I'm glad we found each other. It is not... It is funny not that I have this big family and I'm so just... Just five more minutes. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. Yeah. <sighs> Yawn. Well, I'm stuck. This playlist is boring as hell. I miss my music. Okay, playing music right now would be insane. Hmm. So that's how mom used to smell. Mom? Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. Never been a big oh, fan Max of hiking. Max, who came back from time. But here, I, I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel, I miss my skateboard and going to the park. Yeah. With Lila. Dad did the same thing too. Never seen any picture of mom in our home. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. Okay, can we close the chest? No. How weird are these sunglasses? They're not. Yeah. You finally left forever. 
Eagles Can Fly, God. The Green Choir by Karen Reynolds. I hear the green, the green choir singing in the forest in the ancient gray, wrapping me in their wood spell, their song, the roots like fuses that explode in reverse. When I hide my heart, hearing that sound, that makes me feel older than the forest, older than you, but younger than the crying river at my feet. If I slid into the soil, would the voices muffle, like my face in the pillow so nobody knows I'm there? Too late. My retinas. I could sneak in through the wormholes, but that would only lead down. So over the treetops, over the river, I feel myself leaving forever. Honestly, not that bad of a poem, actually. They're not sunglasses, man. I'm not very poem-pilled. To look at but the are, honestly, not too bad. Fist? Of the poems we have read in games on stream <sighs> before, probably bullshit. in the top three. They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun during an eclipse. These pictures are so random. They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun. They looked happy. Oh. How could she send all of this to hell? Oh, Claire dyes her hair? They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun during eclipses. Eclipses? You know, when the sun... I don't recognize any of these games. You know, when the sun... Hides behind the moon. Oh, yeah. That must be so cool to watch. Okay, I've looked at everything now. I'm done. I'd like to leave. Okay. Oh, letter. Uh oh. So These letters look pretty recent. Mom's? Now we're going to find out where our mom is, and that's the new objective. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about C What did they make two missing mom storylines? Oh, Rachel Amber was the other mommy? Yeah, it's true. Battle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Oh. Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop out in this case. I beg you. Please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. You guys need to get out of here. The door's gonna open and Claire's gonna walk again? in and turn into an ogre. Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Fuck's sake. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Ransacking? Sorry. Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to- No one ever told you that everything you say before our butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please. Yeah, Stephen. Calm down. Yep. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. Did they? We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Uh-oh. What's your problem? What's it? Yeah, what's your problem? What's the problem then? If there's nothing to see, why lock us out? Or get mad. It's like you're in denial. I know that mom left us. And yeah, it made me mad. But at least we've moved on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. Stephen. 
What the hell are you doing, bro? Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Well, oh, now we're just suddenly calm? Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, oh, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! What? Oh, shit! <laughs> This is so bad. This, did he do it on purpose? Time for a distraction. I know. Here we go. All right. So is is it gonna be too heavy for us to lift? And and uh, Daniel's gonna have to do it. And then she's gonna get all butt hurt, and we're gonna have to leave. Get this goddamn thing off me. Right. Steven, no! Claire, help. Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! Okay, you're capable of lifting. Help! No! Lift! Stop. Oh, my legs! What do you mean, your legs? Lift together. Use power. Lift together. Together. We got this! Claire, you'll have to pull him out. Hold on, Steven. This might hurt. This is worse. Do it! One, two, three! Hold on! My leg! Almost there! Come on! Oh, my baby! <sighs> Wow, good thing we were here, right? You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Oh, Stephen. Please don't say that. <laughs> oh, please be Chris's dad being like, so, just walking by and I heard a noise. Everything okay in there? Y you sure? Because I heard a really loud noise as I was walking by and I just thought, you know, what's going on in the house? Everything alright? You sure everything's alright? Everyone's safe and calm in here? No, it's a cop. I, for sure. Fucking hell. Why? Just driving by and I heard a noise. Sean. I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Oh, yeah. Sean, was, what are was, we gonna do? That was Go dumb hide going in there. the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract. Have you remembered to screw your shelves into the wall? Yes, actually, but that wasn't the problem here. This was that the, the, the foot was broken and he, it, was, it was supported with books. Tim. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the drive. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could see. But here's all the cash we have. Oh man, Thanks, 25 Grandma. bucks. We're gonna miss you. I'll stop that. Okay. We'll see you as soon as we can. Wait, why, okay. can't, why can't we just hide and then come Thanks back? Thanks for helping us. So, this Both has been you. insane. Oh, I love you. Now hurry up. Daniel.
So the climax of episode two of Life is Strange was was preventing someone from jumping off a school roof in a, quite an actually cool sequence. The climax of episode two of Life is Strange two is that an old man used f pulled a shelf on himself to distract the, his his wife from having a fight with their with their grandchildren because he doesn't know how to talk to her. And then we have to decide whether we're going to use psychic powers to lift it up or just you know lift and pull. This just fucking cupboard. All right, cool. They're not here. Who the hell are you? They're not here. Oh no. Move your ass, bro. Is this worse than before the storm? Nah, this it's it's uh Shit. it's better. It's still bad, it's but it's better. It is actually telling a story. Before the storm is completely pointless, and they should have embraced that instead. Wait, uh, cover film? Wait, it took that long to get to the cupboard? Oh no. Uh oh. Time to kill another one. Chris! Um. What the fuck, cop? Why were you driving so fast? <sighs> Next newspaper article. The two fugitives are also wanted for, for, for pro provoking a cop into killing a, an innocent kid. That's more blood on their hands. Yes, those damn fugitive kids. Is there any way for him to not get hit by a Why? car? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? Because you told him he had powers. He's okay, Yanano. The car barely touched him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's fine. God. I wish... I told him the truth like you asked me to. I... I'm sorry, Sean. I shouldn't have lied to you and Chris. It's... Uh, it's okay. I know you meant to be good. But... Don't... I told him to tell him the truth. It's my... Hold on. So that kid jumped in front of a car because when I went into, when I went into the house, I said, Wow, that's cool. Instead of being like, Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, he didn't... Oh, okay. So it's on Daniel. That's not me. Worry. It's Daniel's fault, not me. Um, you didn't even let me check on him. What if he is... dead? He's fine, trust me, we don't know. Daniel, we don't know that, okay? So, stop jumping into conclusions. We'll catch up on him Daniel, as soon as we can. When did I teach him I, that? I don't remember I, that. But, but I need to know. You will. Just... Later. When it's safe. Sean. You let him kill a cougar by snapping its neck. Don't you think he feels empowered to annoy- Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power. If you don't want to. Good with it. That there's a morality meter and his morality is low, so he ignores. What do you mean? What what's immoral about fucking killing an animal that's about to rip you to shreds? What's immoral about that? I 
and I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think what? You understand, Joe? If, if you don't do that, the cougar just gets scared about the power and runs away. And you're just supposed to know that. Because, what, you think the game is just gonna end there if you don't do that? Yeah, that's true. That's a pretty good point. That's a pretty good point. Yeah, you're supposed to metagame. See Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... Let's go to the P.O. Box. She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust <sighs> me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but... <laughs> We kind of need a little cheer, so... Here's a bear, I got Merry you. Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Wow. Thanks, Sean. Thanks. Wow, it's so cool. Hey! Listen! There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. What do you mean, our ride? Oh, oh no. Now we're gonna be with the train people. Oh, no. They don't put their dog on a leash. No. I'm gonna jump in. Oh, hey, how's it going? This looks dangerous as fuck. Did it slow down? Oh, maybe it did. Wow. On the next episode of Life is Strange 2. The train's out of control! What are we gonna do? Use your powers! No, don't use your powers! Just use the brake! Uh, now nah, that'd be way too exciting. Episode two rules. All right, no music. You threw a snowball at Daniel. Yeah, you let Daniel kill the cougar. Who, who are these people that are like, nah, this, this, this makes sense. Claire prayed alone. You prayed together with Claire and Dan- <laughs> You refused to pray with Claire and Daniel. You confessed to Stephen about Daniel's power, 50%. You helped with extra chores. You told Daniel he did the right thing when he saved Chris. You didn't use Steven's laptop to log into your profile. He would have logged into his profile? Oh my god, that was the right choice. It didn't matter though, because they still... They still came to the house. Nothing matters. I should just do whatever I want. It really doesn't matter. You didn't use the, the phone to call Lila. I should have called. You couldn't talk to Lila and lied to her mother. Okay. You gained Chris's trust and got him to open up ab about about his father. What? You didn't gain Chris's trust. Alright. You told Daniel to stop lying to Chris about his power. You didn't listen to Cassidy's song until the end. Whoops. You drew spaceships for Chris. You didn't draw for Chris. You bought a Christmas present for Daniel. You stole a Christmas present for, for Daniel. You found several Christmas presents for Daniel. Damn, that would boost his morality meter. Nothing boosts your morality uh, meter than uh, getting some presents. You didn't get involved in Charles' problems. Okay. You chose to pull Steven out together and injured his leg. Wow. Wow. All these people use their power. 
The cop chased you and Chris was hit by a car. Wait, hold on. The cop didn't chase you and Chris helped you escape. What do you mean? What? 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 Uh, what? What would have happened if Chris wasn't there? Daniel did not continue to swear. Daniel won the dice game without cheating. That's gotta be worth some morality points, right? Daniel killed the cougar. Daniel was able to bury mushroom properly. How is that not an option? What? Oh, oh, if you don't kill the cougar, he runs off. So he's, he's scared. Oh no, I don't understand what's happening, but oh, let me just get my meal real quick before I leave. Oh, um, all right, here I go. Bump it, bump it, bump Like, damn, that was definitely worth it. Daniel refused to pray. Daniel didn't want to tidy the room. Daniel was told to tell the truth, but he continued lying to Chris. Overall, Daniel was repressed from using his power. Uh-oh. Daniel didn't use his power to save Chris from the car. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that sucks. Daniel blamed himself for Chris's accident. Yeah, it was his fault, for sure. Daniel was too upset to enjoy his presence. He seemed he seemed pretty happy. All right, now, the most important thing at all. Did the one guy continue playing? They did. The one guy continued playing. Damn, the one guy had a, a very similar playthrough to me. Maybe I am the one guy. Look at all this. Almost exactly. Maybe it is exactly. But Doctor, I am the one guy. Plus two for you, Chatter. I get the joke. It's very funny. Sensible trucker. Experienced and honest, looking for work. I was born so in a prison. This is it? Oh, yeah. dude, weed. It looks like a nettle field, and it stinks. <laughs> yeah, and your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. So we join a co-op. Come on. <laughs> or a grow I'll show up. You around. Oh God. Oh. All right, so this sucked. <sighs> so the hits keep coming and they don't stop coming. Fair to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense to, to stream for fun. That's why we're playing Life is Strange 2. <sighs> How close are you dropping it? Not even. Not even. Although tomorrow we might just do main story shit only, because holy crap. What was your favorite part of the stream? What was it the video? Yeah, anything to do that wasn't the game was 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 fun for this today. Excuse me. Keep going, we didn't have a shower versus tub talk yet. Like, like, everyone knows that when they take a bath, they're not as clean as they would be if they had a shower, right? Like, everyone knows. Like, the trade-off there is that you get to have lay down, relax, maybe do a little bit of reading, you know, or listen to some 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 tunes while you're in the bath. But you're you're not as clean at the end of that. You know, you're still cleaner than when you went in. Some people who are really fancy and don't mind wasting water will have a shower and then they will... Yeah, some people in chat are saying it. They'll, they'll, they'll have a shower bath. Or as that character said in the Cowboy Bebop that you all like, uh, shower bath shower. It's a good line.
so much for Archer, yeah. You are on crack or what? Nope. I've never taken any crack. You had fun? Yeah. You probably aren't going to watch the Automata anime adaptation, right? Is there one? I did. This is the first time hearing about this. Better than yesterday? This, this episode two is better than episode one, I think. More happened. But... Good God, this is so slow. First game is so much better. I don't know what they thought was going to happen with this. Again, I say this a lot, and it comes across as probably as a really shitty thing to say, but the older I get, the more I find that it's true. You would be surprised at how much of the good stuff that happens in anything that you enjoy is complete happenstance. It's just complete accidental. You know, a couple of things hit in the right way and they combine to have like some synergy in the experience. Like, it's, it's one thing to, to make something good and it's a whole other thing to make something good on purpose, right? And, and this is true from from my work too. Even even the, the maybe even especially the critique videos, um, especially streams because they're just like like stream of consciousness improv. Like who knows what's going to happen? Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but even when it comes to structured, like hey, I'm I'm making this stuff. Uh, like a lot of it's going to have to go into planning and editing uh, if you want to refine it and make it good on purpose. But a lot of people don't want to do that. And even if you do do that. Um, a lot of people don't want to put in uh, the sh staggering amount of time it would take. So it's clear after Before the Storm and this, even though Before the Storm is like, you know, different, uh, a different team, but they still have the base game to, to, to build off that. Um, they didn't really understand what made the first game work as well as it did. In this case, so maybe it's like someone on the team left or the direction changed too much. I don't know. But who, in, in that case, whoever took over didn't understand it. Life is Strange one was lightning in a bottle. Yeah, that's another way of saying it. Yeah, lightning in a bottle is when just everything comes together and it's like, wow, this turned out great. Do you think it's a larger problem in collaborative works? I don't even think it's uh, indicative of collabor collaborative works. Even solo projects can be the exact same way. Collaboration has doesn't even enter into the equation for me when I think about that. It might... Collaboration might make it... Yeah, I won't say it might make it worse, but then with more people there at, to a certain level, it might make it that there are more pieces that can interact and, and end up firing off each other. So, I don't know. Undertale Deltarune problem? I haven't played the latest thing of Deltarune, but uh, the first episode of Deltarune was not anywhere close to Undertale for me, so maybe. James Cameron is like the one guy who knows how to consistently make us everyone likes. <sighs> oh, they were... I'm sorry, but to take a shower before I take a bath is just wrong. There is no way you could you could wait. What? I'm interested. There's no way you could defend this. It's just a waste of water and time. Is it, it, there's no way it's more efficient? Who's who's caught? Who's talking about efficiency? Hey, I don't partake of the shower bath shower or shower bath myself. I'm just saying some people take a shower to wash off real quick and get all the grime off them down the drain, and then they will run the bath and chill in the bath, and then they're nice and clean. Who's saying it's waste? It's it's saving water or more efficient? Like like I'm not saying that at all. It's about the experience of having of having a bath. I personally have never done it. I feel like Dennis Villain. I can never say his last name. Dennis Villeneuve almost always hits. Almost. I will counter that. Enemy sucked. Prisoners was really good. 
I've seen almost all of his movies, and I liked all of them that I've seen except for Enemy. Enemy was terrible. Sicario was so, so, like, hot take, I think Sicario is a little overrated. I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. It's definitely, like, in the, in the 7, 8 out of 10 area, but people think it's, like, an 11 out of 10, and it's, like, you know, it's a good movie. It may even be great, but it's not outstanding, you know? Like, it, it's just a good movie. And Dune is great. I haven't seen Dune. I'm waiting for it all to be out, and then I can watch it together in case it gets, you know, canceled. Did you watch Full Metal Jacket movie? The Kubrick one? Yes, I have. I've seen that. It's pretty good. But I was probably too young to understand when I saw it. Like, when I watched Full Metal Jacket, it was like... Like, my whole... The whole experience with me was like, Dude, the drill sergeant is so lit. He's so funny. Like, wow, this movie fucking rocks, man. I'm not sure about the second half. That's where it gets kind of weird. I don't know what they're trying to do there. Why didn't they... Br Why wasn't the whole movie just the drill sergeant? This movie's great. You know, like, um... So, like, now that I'm older, <laughs> maybe I would enjoy the more serious part. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Did you watch the Catch-22 series, though? I didn't. I really want to. I haven't gotten around to it. It was on a, a platform that I don't have, so... I, uh, I didn't, I didn't see it. It was on Hulu or whatever, right? Ever seen Eyes Wide Shut? Yeah, I have. It was pretty boring. But again, super young. Nicole Kidman, though. Stanley Kubrick. Wow, he looked different when he was younger. I have not seen Glass Onion, no. Okay, uh, I have seen Stanley Kubrick. I haven't seen Fear and Desire. I haven't seen Killer's Kiss. I haven't even heard of these. I haven't seen The Killing. Uh, I've seen Spartacus, but I don't remember it. I haven't seen L Lolita. I have seen Doctor Strange Love. I have seen 2001 Space Odyssey. I've seen Clockwork, or Clockwork, Clockwork Orange. I've seen The Shining, but I don't remember it. I have not seen Barry Lyndon. I've seen Full Metal Jacket, and I've seen Eyes Wide Shut. So I've seen almost all of his movies. All the movies that, that matter, anyway. Have you seen Everything Everywhere All at Once? Might be my favorite movie of all time. I have not, but it looked really good. When are you seeing Avatar 2, Joe? When it's on Netflix and I'm really bored one night. And I'm going to have to be really bored. Like, it's between that and playing Life is Strange 2 again, bored. Have you watched House of the Dragon? I have not, no. Not really big into Game of Thrones. Did you play Battlefield 3 and you should make a Battlefield and you should make a Battlefield 3 critique? Really? Like, when you think of who do I want to make a Battlefield 3 critique? You know what I want? I want, I want J. Andy to do it. That's that's the critiquer that I want to do that. I don't think I would do a very good job with Battlefield 3. Have you played the second play tail game? I have not, no. Maybe one day. Sounds like just a job for Joseph. Never had a UTI over the range bidet curious Anderson. <laughs> Which David Cage games have you played? All of them, Chatter. Not only did I play them, 
I streamed them. Oh, I didn't play Omicron, so that's the one I haven't played. And I haven't played his new Star Wars one because it's not done yet. So, yeah. Maybe we'll do another Cagemus one year. And we'll make different choices and see how, how different it can get. And we can bait um, new new viewers who weren't there for the first time about what the moment is in uh, in uh, Indigo Prophecy. Anyway, that's it for me. We're four hours and 40 minutes. I'm not getting roped into another Q&A today. I'm actually really tired. Um, so we're back tomorrow for the next episode. Uh, I've decided that there is going to be no stream on Friday, so we're taking a, a Friday break. Enjoy, enjoy your, uh, your marbles, I think. I'm not sure. And then we'll be back on Saturday, and then we'll finish the game on Sunday, I think, on New Year's. We're going to bring in the New Year's with Life is Strange 2, Episode 5, which is apparently a banger. Absolute banger. So there we go. And then we'll take a couple days off, and then we'll start True Colors. Oh boy, I hope True Colors is good. Like, it doesn't have to be good, like, oh my god, this is a good time. Just just a good stream time, I hope it's good. I have to carry fucking Life is Strange too, man. I have to fucking carry it. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. If you're not here for the next couple streams, then Happy New Year. Thank you to anyone who gave any uh, uh, bits or subs. Sorry if I missed any gift subs as well. I will see you all tomorrow. I have to do my, my outro music so uh, it doesn't just cut off in mid-sentence. Here we go. Do -do 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 do 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 I fully expect us to drop true colors. What the fuck do you mean? You're the one who wanted us to play these games. You're the one who did the fucking...